Yo, yo, yo. All right, all right, all right, all right, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the call. Welcome to the call. Welcome to the call, everybody. We're about to get this party started here in about three minutes. If you're just getting in the line, let me feel some energy, you guys. Today, Man, you got, you got it. Saturday, and we about to get super late, y'all. So if you're just getting in the building, Go ahead, come in, feel this energy, feel this energy. And yo, let's get these people that's about to come on this call today, let's let them feel our energy. So if you are with, with, with me, get out your comfort zone, y'all, and let's move a little bit. We're going to start in about two minutes, y'all. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. It's halftime, baby. It is halftime. Let's go! 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 let Let's go. If this is your year, let's go. Come let's on, go. Yeah. Them, let's please. go. Come on. Come on, y'all. 2021 is approaching. Let's go. Oh, who with me? Who with me? I see y'all in the back. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm with you, Coach. I'm with you, Coach. It's let's go, Tracy. Year. I see you, baby. I see you, baby. Hey. Take this mug up, y'all. It's halftime, baby. All right, all right, all right. All right, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. What's going on? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Out. Check this out. Let's We're going to be go. starting here shortly in about one minute. But before we get started, let's get some more people on this call, you guys. Let's get about 100 people on this call. Share the links to your team. It's halftime, baby. Let's go. Come on. Pump that thing up, y'all. Woo. If this is your year, I want to see you moving. If this is your year, I want to see you moving. Let's go. Woo. You're going to be buying your mama a brand new house. Let's go. You're going to be paying off all your debt. Let's go. You're going to be doing this for your last name. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, 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 you guys. Wow, I am so super pumped. Thank you so much for that energy. You guys, it is half time. We are nearly almost at 2021. And I got one question for you. Where are you at? Are you in the same position where you were when you first started this year? Ask yourself this, have time. It's time to stop and reflect, right? It's time to stop and reflect. We have to get back and figure out like, um, do, do you need to try something different? Do you need to switch up things? You got to really sit and think at halftime, you guys, because the quarter is almost up. And you know our slogan is, what will you become, right? What will you become? What are you going to become? What are you going to be creating? Are you going to be creating a legacy, right? Because this is about long lasting legacy, you guys. Forex, this is beyond us. We're doing this on behalf of our ancestors. We are doing this on behalf of our bloodline. 
of your children's children, of your children's 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 12 generations deep, you guys. So I'm super elated. Uh, my name is Isis Love. For anybody that does not know me, you guys, I have been in, I am for three years consistently, consistently not letting up, you know, really just being a Harriet Tubman uh, of the mission, really just getting this four out, four X stuff out to people, you guys, because it's so, so, so very important. I'm going to be your host tonight, you guys, and I'm going to be bringing on some phenomenal, phenomenal people, you guys. So very, very phenomenal. And a beautiful house rule, you want to make sure that you keep your phone muted. That way we don't have to stop and everybody can get this information because the individual that I'm going to be bringing on this line tonight is literally taking their time and energy to give us some yummy sauce to finish out this year, you guys. So before I bring on this next person, I just want to know really quick. Let me see who we got on here, right? Really quick. Before we bring on our first guest, because we're going to dive into it, right? Before we bring in our first guest, I just want to know, do we got, do we got G12 on the line? Is G12? Yeah, we got you G12. Go. No. 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 Now that we just shook, now that we just shook up everything, now that everybody's all lit, everybody's alert. I want to go ahead and bring on our first special guest, you guys. Let me tell you something about this, uh, this, this sister that I'm about to bring on right here, you guys. She has been my mentor, you know, from this, from from day one. Uh, really just being there, guiding me to get me to this point where, uh, where I am. Such a, a humble leader, such a humble servant, you guys. I mean, and it's like, when she speaks, it's like she tells stories. You know, uh, she's a self-mastery educator and an intu uh, intuition energy coach, right? So her gifts and her talents, and she specializes in storytelling, right? That's how she encourages her audience to live a life of wealth, right? And, and, and noble living, right? By helping people develop skills, right, to apply to wisdom. So without further ado, you guys, because we're hopping right in it, I hope you have your notebook because this girl I'm about to bring on, Miss Noble Jules, is about to drop it down. Miss Noble Jules, are you on the line? I am, I am. Blessings to everybody. How's everybody doing today? Amazing. Amazing. Can you hear me? Amazing. And gracious. Noble, what's up? What's up? What's up? Everything healthy? Everything's healthy. Let's be blessed. Let's be blessed. So, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it real. One hundred. Y'all really ready for some real one hundred right now? Real life moment stuff right now. Like, yeah, like drop that. some fires. Yeah, yeah I'm. A, I'm gonna tell y'all right now because because this is mindset. And y'all know I love mindset. One hundred percent mindset. And I'm. A, I'm about to give y'all real. I'm talking about real life right now information. Right. So, this is why, this is why, I want you to write this down. You have to be prepared to alter in your mind at all times, right? You have to be prepared to alter in your mind at all times. Because if you're not prepared to alter in your mind, you can't alter in time, right? If you're not prepared to alter in your mind, you can't alter in time. And what does that take? That's what we're going to talk about real time right now. But let me let me tell y'all, like Isis said, hey, whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. I need y'all to put a 12 in the chat for Isis for putting this together and bringing y'all, there's some fire people on here. I'm so happy and grateful to be number one on this to open y'all up. But put 12 in that chat. Let me see it go ding, 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 ding to let everybody know Isis is on fire. Chairman Isis, Chairwoman Isis, uh, I, it's so much I could say about you to throw it back, but I'm going to tell everybody. So let me tell you my story. Last night, I stayed up to one o'clock in the morning going over my notes and preparing for this call. I've been studying for two weeks for this call. I have a beautiful PowerPoint set up. 
I was strategic. I made sure I went over it last night at one o'clock. However, I'm unable to share. Now listen to this. I'm unable to share because I had an appointment this morning that delayed me from being in front of my computer right now, right? So y'all hear me, y'all hear me. It delayed me from being in front of my computer right now to share it with you. Howsoever, I am always prepared in my mind to alter at all times, right? So I had to realize when I got on this call, ISIS hit me at 11.30 as professional as she is. First of all, everybody uh, mute your lines. Mute your lines, please. ISIS, as professional as she is, she sent out a reminder, right, at 11.30. My delay was happening at 11.30. Still, I can get home. It's what I said in my head. I can make it. I can make it. I have my computer with me, but I am unable to log into it because I was either driving or log into my computer, right? So, listen, listen. Then I hit ISIS up at 12, at 11.59 saying, I got to start later. ISIS didn't get the message. I log in at 12 o'clock. I'm being introduced. So I know we got a bunch of chair people on the call. I know we got a bunch of traders on the call. This is mindset happening right now in my life. I said spirit, because I know I'm spiritual. What do you want me to do? Spirit said, talk about what's happening right now. So in real time, why? Because it needs mindset. Number one, for mindset, you got to have your purpose already done. I know G12 walk around with your purpose. You write it plain and you write it in front. You have your why in front of you. Your why has to be your purpose. Why? Because if my purpose wasn't to make sure that I show up for the people like for you all, I wouldn't be, I would have a bunch of excuses and saying I can't be here right now, right? Can I control what's happening right now? Could I control the delay? I could not. However, if I was not prepared and know exactly why I needed to be here, know why I needed to rep represent, represent myself in the most professional way and show up anyway, if I did not know why I needed to put my voice into this into this container with all of you if i didn't know why spirit gave me the ability mute your calls please mute your calls please if i didn't know why spirit gave me the anointed ability to to express powerful words over people for healing and so that it can evoke their truest highest indwelling divinity um, out of them doing, um um community um on one of these You guys, I actually ain't muted. Uh, Noble, Noble, if you can hear me, you're muted. Got you. I'm back. All right, so I'm gonna say it again. If I didn't know why, that my ultimate life purpose is to always show up to help people to connect to their indwelling divinity so that we can raise the consciousness of this earth. If I not know my why, this time right here to alter my, to be prepared to alter my mind and alter myself at any given time would not be, I wouldn't be able to do that. Now, why do you need to do that while you're trading? Everybody, we got the tools in the trading, right? If you're in the trader and you did an analyst or you got a call and you got it into, your, we, ha we have it in, you have a, you have, you know, you have a signal and you put it into your MetaTrader 4, and that meta and that signal starts to go against your trading plan, against your why, you need to make a strategic decision right then and there to get out. If you're talking to somebody about the joining this community and you feel as though their vibration first was really much like, okay, this person seems like they'd be good for the community, and then you have a shift. And right there, you realize that this person is not good for the community. You need to make a decision right there. If you're supposed to show up at an event and your life takes off like mine did and you get distracted, you need to make a decision right then and there. If you're in this, this is what happens to everybody. It's called the great destruction. The great destruction. When you're in this container and you're studying and then all of a sudden you're studying, you got the Zen going. I'm sorry, everybody. 
and you're ready. You're so ready and willing and able to study. And, and then, you know, you got children that run into the room and you're supposed to be on the presentation or your computer shuts down and you're supposed to be on the computer, uh, you know, on the presentation. Everything, my point is, any and everything can happen. You can't change what's going to happen. You always have to control what and how you respond to it. You have to control how you respond to it. And that leads into the presentation in which I had prepared for y'all, because I was talking about abundance. The word abundance, everybody wants abundance. Let me tell you, my favorite number is 28. Can somebody just make sure that y'all still there? Because I know I'm a talker, but I like to make sure y'all still engaged. Somebody drop a 28 if you look, if you care for abundant lifestyle, if that's what your goal is right here. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right, okay. All right, so we got we got some 28. So you, you want abundance, right? So, but a lot of people don't even understand what abundance is. Abundance means you gotta have certain certain tunes. That, okay, one of my great mentors, um, uh, Dr. Wayne Dreyer, he said that abundance is the ability to attune to your higher self every day. He said, we already have abundance. Our job is not to, is not to seek abundance. We already have it. Our job is to tune into the abundance we already are. You have to tune into it. Now, how do you tune into it? Let's just look at what the word abundance really means. The word abundance means to be plentiful, to be plentiful. To, to, that means that you, now, now let me, let me, let's be clear. If I give you three cookies right now, you'll be like, oh, I got plenty. But spirit don't work like that. You can't be plentiful according to where you see yourself. Because how you see you is not the way the spirit sees you. You will never see yourself as abundantly as spirit sees you. Because you do not know who you are supposed to touch. Your life is supposed to be unfolded in front of you. You're, you're, you're supposed to be prepared for the unfolded. And you're supposed to plan according to your desires. Now, I hope somebody caught that. You're supposed to plan according to your desires because your desires lead you down your path as it unfolds, right? However, you're, you are, as human beings, as spirit, I'm sorry, as spiritual beings having a human experience, you're, you're, you, you will never see yourself as plentiful as spirit does. So you must atone to your divine entity, your, divi your dwelling divinity inside, your higher self or a bigger vision or universe, whatever you want to call it, you have to connect yourself to something bigger than you. I heard Isis saying that we sitting up here, G12 is about connecting and, and making a, a pathway for 12 generations in front of you and 12 generations behind you. I need for everybody to understand you are 40 generations away from people who was brought into this country in, in shackles. You are 40, 30 to 40 generations away from them, right? So imagine they particularly thought about you 40 years before. They didn't know your name. They didn't know how you were going to come about, but they thought about you and they lived there every day to think about you. If you're on this call and you think about making money for yourself, this ain't the call for you. I'm going to be honest with you. I know my brothers that's coming. I know who they are. I know how they speak. If you're on this call and you're thinking abundantly about people who breaking chains from your past, that means not living in your past, and you're in this call and you're thinking about not yourself, but your generations ahead of you, this is the call for you. This is the community for you. This is for you. And why do I say this ain't for you if you're thinking about yourself? Because you're going to have a little bit of fame. You're going to have a little bit of money. But it's not going to be lasting. Because you're not. your mindset is not thinking lasting. So you're not going to be lasting. And that's the A in abundance, the attitude. You have to, everybody heard, you got to have an attitude of gratitude. You can't just have an attitude of gratitude. You got to have an attitude of success. You got to have an attitude of fortitude. You got to have an attitude of patience. You have to have the attitude of loyalty. You got to have an attitude of, of abundance. So, so everybody write this down. I need for you at the end of this call, I want you to go back over everything you hear from now to 5 p.m. today. And I want you to check what's my attitude. 
Don't ask, don't answer that question now. Answer that question once you get off of this Super Saturday. What is my attitude, right? Because your attitude leads us to the next letter in abundance, the B, right? What's your B? No, but what you mean, what's my B? What's your belief? We heard it, we hear of David and MTA talk about all the time. You gotta have belief in this, right? But I need for y'all to understand. Belief is your core trust in yourself. That's your core trust in yourself. Your belief is not your vision. Belief is not a bunch of words said by anybody. As a matter of fact, most of the stuff that's being told in the world today, you shouldn't believe. You should not believe. You should not believe a stuff that's on the news. You should not believe a stuff that, that they pumping out to us in the agenda. You should not believe um, of some conversations people have about I'm, I Mastery Academy. You should not believe a lot of things that's being said until you actually see their results, right? So that's kind of contradictory. That's why belief is all about your trust in yourself. Now, no, but how, how do I get to the belief or the trust in myself? Getting to know yourself, sitting and having time with yourself, sitting and, and thinking about what you want. That's why you got to know your why. You got to know your why, and then you have to connect with your higher spirit to trust that your why is always going to guide you to your higher spirit. And your That's period, point blank. That's, I'm sorry, you guys. That's period, point blank. That's all that it is. That's all that it is. Leads you to another thing. The next letter in abundance, which is you. Unity. Unite. Unity. Now you're like, oh yeah, no, unity in the community. No, 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 no. That's what unity is too. And I just want to uh, really quick. Community is communication as a unit, right? That's what community is. When you communicate as a unit, that's community. But, but that's not the unity I'm talking about. Because you got to have community within yourself. Your mind and your heart have to be in community with each other. They must be united in each other. A lot of people, let me tell you, a lot of people will fail. A lot of people will get in here and they will blame the system. They'll blame the leadership. They will blame a lot of things on why they're, they're not having a success that they seek to have. But the truth is the only reason why you're not having a success that you seek to have is because your mind and your heart are not in unity. Noble, wow. Wow, Noble, wait a minute, I didn't think about that. What do you mean my mind and my heart are not in community? Because your mind is saying, I need to get on this call with ISIS at eight o'clock. And then I gotta get on the call with, uh, with Chad at nine o'clock. And then I gotta get on the call at 10 o'clock with, um, with the iMarkets Live leadership team. And then your heart's saying that's too much. That's not community. That's not community. Your heart is saying, oh, I want to go to sleep. Your heart is saying something else. And let me tell you, if it's not in your heart, I, I don't know what you want to start with. It, it got to be in your heart. It has to be in your heart. It has to be in your heart. Because if it's not in your heart, it ain't nowhere. If it's not in your heart, it, it's, 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 yeah, it's literally nowhere. That's the seat of your soul. And if you don't know what's in your heart and you just operate and only offer your mind, we, we need to have a conversation. That means you need more development. Your, that means that your why is not deep enough in your soul because it has to sit in your heart. You got to feel your why. So if you, around, if you got it around your neck and you say it every day, but it has not dropped into your heart, you're not unified. And that's what's not leading you towards your abundance. Now, how do you drop it into your heart? That's what leads us to the next letter, the D. What's the D? Determination. No, but what you mean determination? You got to be determined about this thing. Now, I want you to understand determination is a compound word. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. Determination is a compound word. Well, Isis, can you tell me if you can still hear me? Yeah, we still can hear you. All right, perfect, perfect. Determination is a compound word. It's a determined nation. To determine, to have determination, you must determine. To determine, you must decide. And to decide, you must drop it into your heart space. You can put it, you use your mind first, you use your mind and your mouth to drop it into your heart. 
You got to be determined in this thing. Determination will get you when, when, your, when your schedule don't go the way you want it to, to show up anyway. Determination will get you to look at the trade when you lose it and to show up anyway. That's what determination does. Determination will get you to, to have to tell your wife, baby, I'm sorry, but I need to stay up on this call for four hours. And then I have to study in these charts for four hours and it's gonna take up about four days of my schedule. And if I do this for the next 90 days, if I do this for the next 90 days, I can change our life because it takes 21 days to change a habit, but it takes it takes a whole 90 days to change a lifestyle. That's determination. So a lot of people want abundance because abundance sound cute, but people don't want to be determined <laughs> because what, what determines your mindset will determine your lifestyle. Somebody write that down. What determines your mindset? So if excuses determine your mindset, you're going to have an excused lifestyle. What's an excused lifestyle? People waiting for other people to give them stuff because they don't have no freedom for themselves. That's an excused lifestyle. Now, we going... Right, Noble, we can't really hear you. I don't know if we lost a little service. Hey, Isis, can you repeat what she said for me? What determines your mindset, determines your lifestyle? Now, hold on, let's see if we can get her back on here real quick. Noble, um, are you there? I think she had to hop off or hop on, y'all. Let's go ahead while we wait for her to get back on, though, y'all. If y'all getting some volume, oh, am I just talking to myself? Okay, there you go. You there? There you. We can hear you now. You good? You good? Okay, okay. What's the last thing you heard? Um, determination. Somebody ask the question again. Did you say what determines your mindset? Determines your lifestyle? Yes. Okay. What's okay. what deter? Yeah. What determines your Oh, I forgot the A. What determines your life, what determines your, your mindset determines your lifestyle. Absolutely. Hey, Noble, can you um, repeat the end? I missed that one. The end? I did. Yes, okay. Please. So we got, well, first, let's go over the from the beginning. We got A, we got attitude. Then we got B, we got belief. Then we got U, we got um, unity. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I forgot the end. I was driving, y'all. I forgot the end. So thank you so much for bringing that up. The end, believe it or not. I, I wasn't trying to be conceited when I did this either. So please forgive me, y'all. But the end is actually nobility. I'm, I'm, trust me. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to give it to y'all any other way. But it's nobility. So no, but what do you mean the end is nobility? One second. One second, it's about, my phone is about to get really loud really quick. I'm logging into my computer now. So nobility, nobility means there is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow man. True nobility is being superior to your former self. I'm gonna say that again. There's nothing noble about being nobility, having no, being, being superior to your former, to your, to your fellow man. True nobility means being superior to your former self. So what does that mean? We see Chairman Isis up here, right? We know Chairman Isis is, is, is hitting the ranks like abundantly. We, we, we know that Chairman Isis is 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 rocking it and making it happen right so we're like man isis is doing this doing that some people may have it in their mind and if you have this in your mind it's an opportunity for you to check yourself if you have this in your mind it's an opportunity for you to check yourself and 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 just be like wait a minute if if in your mind is competition if you see if you see that the, the trade house and you feel competition you see sparta 
and you have some kind of competition, then, then that's a good opportunity for you to check yourself. Why? Because you, you, you're lacking nobility. What do you mean, noble? I'm not, I'm not lacking nobility. You are, because you're trying to be superior to your former man. You're trying to be more superior to your former man than, than you are trying to be, trying to develop yourself. That's what it means to be superior than your former self. So each and every day, everybody should be seeing ways in which you have nobility over yourself. Every day, you should be doing something to improve yourself every single day, right? And so that's the, so the second, so the end is nobility. Then, I'm sorry, we have determination. So we got the A, we got the B, U, N. Then we had the D, determination. Sorry about y'all, I was out of order. Then we go to the next A, right? The next A is action, right? But I want y'all to understand action in a different way because we all heard it, right? The only way for you to have attraction is to have action, right? We, we heard that, we hear that all the time. The only way to have action is to have attraction. Oh, I'm doing the work. I'm doing the work. I'm trying to let y'all know there's right action and there's wrong action. Doing nothing is an action. And so the quote that I have for that is for every action, there's a reaction. So if you want to know if your action is leading you towards the abundant life, that wide that's hanging around your neck, I want you to look at your results. Look at what's coming back to you. Look at the reaction that's coming back to you. That's how you know if the action that you are taking is the action necessary to get you to where you wanna go. Because you, you could be doing something, you could be like, I did a presentation and nobody responded. Then you gotta look at that action. You have to adjust, that's another A, adjust your actions to equal out the results that you are seeking, right? So listen, I, so you, you in action. I was in action today. I was in action, finally made it back to my spot. Got my presentation in front of me. I want to be, I want to say shout out to G12 because the call is so maxed out. I can't even get on to, to show y'all my screen. So shout out to everybody that showed up for themselves here for a maxed out call right now. Y'all shout out 777, 777, G12. Somebody, everybody drop tweet G12 with some fire up in the chat room. G12 is maxed out on this Saturday. Yes, yes. You see, that's action. That's G12 took action and maxed out the entire call. So what, what, what's the next action that ISIS got to take? She got to upgrade that Zoom call to the next hundred. That's what it is. <laughs> upgrade that Zoom call. I'm about, right? to do it right, I'm about to do it right now as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. You see, every action, every action has a reaction. And if you live by that, you will always be in a state of always live in nobility because you will know that what you will know that listen if i'm not getting the results that i want to get i gotta change my action and the, oh the best way for me to change my action is to change my attitude to look at my belief systems to make sure that my heart and my mind is united to know that i am living nobility trying to be uh, self-improving myself to be better than my former self and i am determined to be abundant that's how you change your action Right? And so after action, we got to go to the next, to the end again. We got to go to now. Do it now. Most times later, never comes. All right? Most times later, never comes. That's why you got to do it now. So, so when you see an action and you're not getting the results of it, if you're, if you're in a trade and you're not getting the results, immediately reevaluate, re readjust yourself. Immediately, if you're doing a presentation and it's not receiving, if you're not receiving the results, if you're looking in your back office and you're saying, I've been at, I've been at P6, or I've been at P150, or I can't get nobody to come and to, um, to sign on, or I, don't, I, don't, I can't build the community, or I'm not hitting the trade ranks, or every time I put a signal in, it's not going in my favor, and every time that I'm, every time that I'm, I'm, I'm looking at these trades and I think I know what I'm doing, but when I go, I'm not putting in the trades as, as, as the way I say I want to put in the trades or, or if I'm not being consistent, like, look at your, look at your action, look at your results, look at the, look at your losses. If we would stop celebrating, I'm, I'm, don't, don't get me wrong, celebrate your, your wins, but don't celebrate until you actually get to your actual goal. 
You know what I mean? You celebrate yourself, pat yourself on the back. But when you get to your goal, you, 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 David Amitia says, you have, when you reach your goal, you have a gift for yourself waiting there. Howsoever, the way to get to your goal is by evaluating your losses. You got to evaluate your losses. When you go into a trade and you, and you did not make the 30 pips that you were supposed to get that day and you went 20, 30 pips in the red, you got to evaluate your losses because in the, in the poison, you will find the remedy. So in the losses, you're going to find the lesson. In the no's, you're going to find the yes because you're going to find how, what you need to adjust. If somebody say no, ask them. Ask them right then and there. What, what, what did I say that made you say no? Oh, replacing greed with grace. You better go ahead, replacing greed with grace. Ask them, what did I say? To, what did I say that made you say no? They're going to tell you, oh, well, this is not the opportunity for me. Then you know that's them. But if they say, mm, it sound a little, sound like you're trying to sell me, then you check yourself. That's an opportunity. I don't want to sound salesy. Where can you go? You can go to your mentor and you can also go to this perfect thing called YouTube University. On YouTube University, it will show you. You can Google in YouTube, where well, you can put in a search bar in YouTube University, how to not sound like a sales car, a salesperson. It's in there. 50,000 50, videos are going to come up, right? How to, how to be successful in trading. It's in there. You go to the academy for that. All due respect. That's, that's belief. Watch, what you, watch what, who you listen to. I would say, you know, it's a lot of information on YouTube. I would say go to your academy. Go to your academy for that, right? So that's the now. And you do it now. When do you do it? No, I'm, I'm in my feelings right now. He gave me a no to everything. I'm not going to do it now. Mm -mm. Adjust right then and there. The now. Right in the now. That's the only moment that you have. Then we go to the C, right? Because the now will lead you to the C. And the C is always consistency. Consistency is what transforms average into excellence. So if you are, cons if you are constantly evaluating yourself, that's consistency. If you are constantly showing up to these calls, that's consistency. You may not be reaching your goal, but do one thing consistent. When I first started here, I had all this brilliance, right? I had all this brilliance. I was, I was right there with Chad. I, was, I, was, I had all this energy, right? However, the 21-day challenge that we had back in 2017, the 21-day challenge, I could never get through 21 days. I always had something coming up. Oh, my leaders keep pulling me. I was, I was coaching people to do it, but me doing it for myself, I would, I would get to day 19. I would, I would get to day 19, and lo and behold, uh, and then I look back over, and I, would skip, I skipped over day 15. I skipped over day 6. So, but the consistency of 21 days, when I started to get to 21 days every day by myself, my life changed. Because consistency is what transformed average into excellence, period. Period. It's a river. Think about all distractions as a dam in the flow of a river. A river will consistently flow, whether it snows. If it snows, it, let me tell you something. If a river fro freezes over, trust and believe that there's water in the sand that's still flowing. Right? If a river, if a, if, if a tree falls in a river, the river gonna find a way around it. If anything, anything that happens in a river, that's consistency, that's currency, right? Anything, the, the water is gonna find a way to get around the distraction. Yeah, that's what means never stop. But see, but when we say never stop, I, I would rather say stay, stay consistent, right? Because never stop tells your mind, oh, you wanna stop? You gotta be careful with your words. So stay consistent. Staying consistent means you always flowing, right? Another thing, lack of consistency can bring on a lack of interest. <laughs> lack of consistency. So a lot of people, you're like, man, this call sounded out really dope, but to be here till five o'clock? Mm, I don't know if I can tell you, but if you consistently put your attention on this call and eliminate all the distractions around you, your consistency is going to keep you interested in this call. And I want you to understand what interest means. Interest is a compound word. Your inner rest. Rest is peace. Your inner peace. So where you find your interest at is where you find your peace. A lot of y'all find a lot of interest in a lot of violent things. 
a lot of y'all find a lot of interest in those TV shows like Power and everything, things that do not feed you. You find inner peace in things that do not feed you. Your interest is in that. You don't put your constant interest in things that do not give you what you desire. You put your constant interest into things that do not align with your higher self. And you wonder why you can't be consistent. And you wonder why you can't be, you, you're not reaching your goal. Because your interest, you find peace. You, your heart, they see, back to your heart and your mind, not in agreement. Your mind and your mouth is saying one thing, but your heart is saying something. Your heart finds peace in violent things. Here, what entertains you, trains you. Exactly. Exactly. When you find inner peace, you got to see where your interest is at. Some people are like, oh my goodness, I love, I love um, power. I get so excited watching the gossip. Come on now. You find interest in gossip. <laughs> You find interest in, in negativity. You find interest in conflict. You find interest, you find inner peace and conflict. Come on, I'm a life coach. Y'all can, y'all can inbox me and set up a, a life coach session. I get 20 minutes of um, free consultation because we need to find out why you got interest in conflict, why you find inner peace up in there. So, so consistency, lack of consistency will bring you lack of interest, your inner peace, all right? Next, we're going to bring to the E, right? The E. The E, I'm, I got two words for the E. Number one, E, you know, everybody said, oh, E, E is emotions, right, Noble? Yeah, we're going to do two words with E, though. We're going to do emotions, and I'm about to break that down. And then we're also going to do expectations. So write that down. So I want you on your notes. I want you to put emotions and put a gap. And then I want you to put expectation, because that's what the E in abundance means, right? E in abundance. Let, let's, let's understand this. The emotions. Everybody like, oh, but that's energy emotion. Yeah. However, y'all forgot about another E. Now, when I, when I say energy emotion, I want y'all to understand energy as in spirit of all things, right? We're going we're gonna to evaluate energy. We're going to accept that in this conversation, energy means spirit, right? But then there's another E. There's also ego energy, <laughs> you know? So when you're emotional, the question is, which emotion are you riding on? Are you riding on energy, spiritual energy, or are you riding on ego emotion? Is your, is your spirit emotion or is your ego emotion when you are emotional? Because your ego can be emotional. Oh, this ain't for me. This ain't, this ain't for me. Um, it never works out for me. You know, my ego, let me tell y'all, today, my ego tried to step up and said, no, but this always happens. I said, it sure does. Because it always happens, that means I know exactly what to do. Get on the call anyway. Keep my eyes open on this road. Make sure that I get home and utilize my voice. Know that I'm supported by the universe and my guys to get home safely and continue with this call regardless. That's what, my, I told, that's what I told my ego when my ego said, listen, I'm about to put every distraction in front of you so that you can't show up for ISIS. Well, I said, you crazy ego. We showing up for G12 today, right? And so that's, what you, that's how you, I talk to my ego. I talk because my ego is a part of me. My ego helps me to feel. My ego gives me the ability to trap for my spirit to use it as a vehicle through this world. However, I need to constantly tell my ego I am not you. I am using you, ego, to get through this world, to, to express my light. You are my vehicle, ego, so have a seat. Be in your place. But thank you. I appreciate you for guiding me and protecting me. I ain't going to be too much longer. And then I tell my energy, my energy, I protect my energy at all costs. How do I protect my energy? I don't protect my energy by cutting people off. No, 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 no. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell you, be careful with that. When you say, I'm protecting my energy, you, you got a lower vibration. I got to cut you off. Understand, you can cut the person off. You can cut the reflection off. But until you cut the vibration inside of you that attracted that person, you ain't cutting nothing. You ain't going to do nothing but cut one person off and replace them with another one. You, somebody, can somebody mute yourself? That's what I'm saying. Like, like we sit up here, oh, I got to wow. cut this relationship off. I got to cut this person off. I got to do this. I got to, I got to, I got to do this. I got to, oh, 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 I'm protecting my energy. Oh, good. You put all due respect. Thank you very much because you are, you are protecting your energy from the rest of the world. Thank you very God. Thank you very God. Because when you, when you back up, because your reflection 
is triggering inside you or showing you something you don't like and you back up from the world, you are telling the world that, 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 I, oh, it's them. You're blaming something outside of you. You're, inv- you're blaming your environment. How are you going to blame your, your environment is doing nothing but showing you who you are. You attracted it. So all due respect, if you're going to disconnect the connection from the entity that is showing you your own reflection, by God, go sit with yourself to also disconnect and defuse the vibration. How do you do that? You get around people who have what you want. You get around people that can help you to do that. You get you find out what that thing is. You got to find out what that thing is because listen, you real talk, you ain't doing nothing but jumping from reflection to reflection. Then you'd be like, how come in every one of my relationships the same thing happened? How come everywhere I go the same things happen? Okay. There's you. <laughs> You, it's you. Like, so when you come through, that's why I said this last one is energy. What energy are you bringing? Because six, let me tell you something about success really quick. Success is not something that you come and show up and it's there. You did not come to I Marcus Live to become successful. You did not come to G12 to become successful. You did not start trading for X to become successful. You aligned with these entities to help activate the success that's already inside of you. You bring the success. That's why I can't show you. I can't tell, I can't show you my account. I can't show you my rank for to determine what you can do. I can't, I can't do that. If I show you my account, that don't mean it's going to be your account because your level of success may not be at my level of success. It's about what you bring who you are and what you bring to the table. Like the table ain't nothing, but this ain't nothing but a vehicle. The reason why I trade for X is because I'm an abundant person and I want to connect with the largest known amount of abundance that's available in this realm called earth, period. $7.7 trillion a day, I'm good with that, yep. Because that means that as I grow and I get more in alignment with who I am, there's a, a plethora, there's a plethora there's no cap on the ceiling, right? So that's why I trade for X because I, I need something I can go into and, and have no cap. Howsoever, I bring the success. I bring the success. I'm around people like ISIS. I'm around people like Akil. I'm around people like Chad air day, air day. If Chad don't answer my phone calls, I'm on his YouTube. Let me tell you something. I went all the way back on Chad's YouTube, all the way to when he first put up the YouTube, when he had the hoopty and he was changing over his life to the first BMW, no, yeah, BMW he had, when he was in, when he wasn't even in uh, five links. He was in a whole nother thing, right? I'm reading his books. I done read Chad's book um, uh, about four times now. I'm looking at Akil Bay. I'm, listen, I'm on Akil Bay live so much, I think I live with him and his wife. I remember we went to the zoo together on his birth on his daughter's birthday. Like, listen, listen, who, who, who? I'm stalking them. Okay, you know what I mean? Me, let me tell you, me, Riyadh, and Sydney celebrated um, Sydney's um, Chairman 25. And Geo, listen, I'm with Geo every single day. Geo is in the midst of transform. He's thinking about moving and everything like that. I'm looking at the views. Why? I'm on their Instagram. That's the only TV that I watch. David Iamentier, absolutely, he's in LA right now. Right. He's in L.A. right now. He, he has his house in Texas. He's now in L.A. You see, I'm talking about these people as if I know them because I do. I do. Listen, Jim Ron. I know Jim Ron. I know Bob Proctor. I know Jim Ron. And as soon as they mention somebody's name, I'm using my energy to go and research them, too. Why? Because I'm surrounding myself to make sure that my energy is aligned with the energy that I want to manifest. Period. Poo. That's how I do my period. That's it. That's it. So when I say this, listen, I know them. I know them. I know that Chad is going to buy another pair of light, bright shoes and he's going to match it with his shirt again. That's what he do. That's what he do. He going to keep his head the same lift because he going to cut it. That's what he do. He got another son coming. Did y'all see the Instagram with him putting the son up? Absolutely. That's what he do. He going to the mall again on, he go to the mall on Tuesdays before he go to Taco Tuesday. Let me tell y'all something. I know this. <laughs> okay. Cause that's the energy. My ego has no time. Right. And so my last E expectations. What you expect, what do you expect from this? What do you expect? 
if you at all, oh, I'm just doing this thing to see how it's going to work out. That's what you're going to get. You're going to get a see how. I don't exactly know what a see how is, but what you, if you expect, I'm just trying to see how. You guess what you expected? A see how. I, I don't know if it's a horse. I don't know what a see how is, but that's what you're going to get. And then you're like, I didn't get nothing from it because you was looking for a see how. A see how. Unless you identify what the see how is, you, you ain't going to get it. What is a see how? Oh, I'm just saying this to make sure that, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm expecting to get from this noble uh, opportunity to be in community. Okay, what you bring into the community? That's your opportunity. The opportunity to be in community is for you to be the community and what you bring into the community. I'm in this so that I can get the knowledge. Okay, let me see your notebook. Because knowledge is nothing until it's applied. Taking notes is an application. And then the results in your trading account, that's, that's when I see it in your life. Knowledge is absolutely nothing until you can have a life that shows it. Like, oh, no, boy, I'm here to be around friends, to get to know people. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't bring that. Don't bring that to this community. I'm being real 100 on here. What you mean, no, but don't, don't get to know people? Because hey, this, no, this ain't no daycare. You get to know people. You network with people in a net. A net is something that captures people. Yo, these, we are people of light. So if you are coming here and, and, and you are, let me tell you something, light will attract gnats and other lights. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> so if you say, oh, oh, I'm just trying, that's what gnats do. Gnats just want to come around and just get to know, hey, why you here? How you, why you here? You here to work. <laughs> You're here to work. You're here to align myself. I'm here to identify who I am and transform myself into who I say I want to be. I'm here to be around influencers so that I could be influenced. I'm here to be activated. I am here to get activated because I know everything's inside of me. However, I don't know and I don't know what key I need to use for the doors inside of me. What do I expect? I expect activation and I get activation because I bring activation every time I come. I'm activated in my charts i'm activated in my abundance i'm activated in my gratitude i'm activated in my wisdom i'm activated in my knowledge i'm activated in my in my love i'm activated in my loyalty i'm activated in my community i'm activated in my nobility i'm activated in my attitude i'm activated in my union between my heart and my mind i'm activated in my in my um in my um, energy, I'm activated in my in my determination. I'm activated in my nowism. I'm activated in my action. I get it. I'm activated in my abundance. Period. Period. I am activated. So let's go over this summary. You want abundance? Attitude is everything. Your belief. What do you believe? Why do you believe it? Is your heart and your mind unified? Are you, no, are you living with nobility, always seeking to better yourself? Are you determined? What actions are you taking every day? And are those actions leading to the results that you're looking for? Are you living in a now moment? Are you keep going to the yesterdays and the tomorrows? Live today. Are you consistent? And is your consistency allowing you to achieve excellence? Or is your consistent allowing you to be disinterested in this? Where's your interest at? And your energy, is your energy of ego? Is your emotions, because everybody needs emotions. So is your emotions of ego motions or your emotions of energy motions? And what do you expect? Right? So y'all thought it was just it. Yeah, yeah, I thought that that was it. Dad, noble, that's it. Because mm -mm. I said I'm activated. I'm like the sun, honey. You stand in me long enough, you will get burned, okay? I am the sun, okay? <laughs> that's what lights do. You stand around me long enough, I'm going to burn you to a crisp. I'm going to set you on fire, right? <laughs> so lastly, I want everybody, I got the word abundance on your paper, right? Abundance. Now, I want you to understand I'm a wordsmith by nature. There's a compound word in abundance. There's a compound word in abundance. Can somebody tell me what, what's, the, what's, the, what's the root word of abundance? Mm. Abound. So, huh? Abound. 
Oh, look at the word. Somebody said it. Alicia. Dance. 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 Abundance, wow. not abundant. The root word in abundance is to dance. Now, let me tell you what dance is, honey. Dance is movement. That means that you cannot have <laughs> emotions. Emotions create movement, honey. You have to dance through this. In order for you to dance, in order for you to have abundance, you got to have harmony, right? You got to have a synergy, right? That's why you got to dance with this, honey. You got to find your rhythm up in here. You got to find you up in here. You got to find your flow, exactly, in your trade and in your conversation, in your presentation, in your, in your showing upness. You must find your dance you have to you got to move with this you got to flow with this if you a person that said oh i don't dance i'm sorry to hear that because <laughs> you got how you gonna have abundance plentifulness if you do not dance with the plentifulness that's around you you must dance with your inner spirit even dance with your ego if you dance with your ego your ego will align with your goals i'm trying to tell you with it i'm trying to tell you, you get egotistical just start dancing nobody should ever be stuck nobody should ever feel like oh no i can't do it that means you ain't dancing you're not constantly in motion and movement because listen, nothing in the world is ever stand still. Nothing. Everything is dancing. That's what vibration is. Vibration is kinetic energy and tension. The tension of the kinetic energy makes it come together and makes it shake, shake, right? And so if you do that shake, if you're from up here in New, in New Jersey, you know that's the bank head bounce. You shaking it, shaking it, shaking it. Everybody, I want you to go ahead and dance your shoulders. Dance your, everybody should be dancing right now because I know that I speak in rhythms. Everybody should be dancing right now. Clap your hands and never stop. Absolutely. If you feel like, oh my goodness, this is so, I should, should dance. Yes, you should should be dancing exactly dancing from the inside out you do not need music today everybody said twerk exactly twerk you don't need music to dance you just need to feel your own heartbeat that's the only music that you need to hear your beating of your heart is the only beat that you need to learn to dance to period <laughs> i love you all <laughs> <laughs> I am going to put my Instagram. Ooh, that was sick. <laughs> Isis, you told Wait, me. Wait, we dancing, we dancing, we dancing, we dancing. We on fire. Yes, yes. yes. Listen, Let's all, go. Due respect, all due respect, let me tell you why I set it on fire. I know what's to come for the rest of the day. I was in the room. When we went to the first Trade Nation tour, it was myself, Chad, Akil, Riyadh, and Gio. I know what these brothers are about to bring. Y'all thought I was fire. Keep your notes out. Somebody need to sharpen their pencil? Go on and do it. But thank y'all so much. It's been a great, great pleasure to be here. Isis, thank you so much. I'm so very proud of you and what G12 is doing right here. I will be back. Anytime y'all need me, call me. I'm going to drop my Instagram right here in the chat so that you all can reach out to me. Let me know how I can help you. I'm here to serve you to get to your goals, whatever it is. Let me come to me and let me help you clear it out so that you can be into your dance, honey. Yeah, Noble, good looking. That was good. That was good. I appreciate it. Let's go. Thank you, Noble. Abundance be like. Yo, yo, yo. Check this out, you guys. Check this out. Let's go. Check this Let's go. out. Let's go. Check this out. It was so sick. I had to put my mask on, baby. It was so sick. I had to put the mask on. Y'all drop some 11 11 so we can back for Noble Jewels, my mentor, y'all. Let's go. Drop it in the chat. Drop it in the chat. Let's dance a little bit, y'all. Before we bring this next person on, I want to see y'all move. I want to see y'all move, baby. Let's go. We moving. We moving. Let me see y'all move. You about to bring Hey, 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 yeah, do that dance, do that dance. Oh. <laughs> we in here super lit, y'all, we in here super lit.
Relax. Move. Let me see y'all moving. Yeah. I'm moving. I'm grooving. Let's go. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, y'all. Check this out. I'm going to stop the music. Yo, that was straight fire, y'all. That was straight fire. Hey, a little quick announcement before I bring on the next guest, you guys. I literally just opened up the uh, Zoom for more participation, for more people. I had had to upgrade you, right? So if we are, we can put about 500 people on here right now, you guys. So reach back into this chat. Let's get this call to about 200 people, you guys. It's still early. It's only one o'clock, and we got so much fire still to give you guys. So I'm super lit. This next person I'm about to come on, she's coming in as a special guest. Let me tell you about this person right here, y'all. Let me tell you, she's a retired uh, uh, Army veteran. Um, she's always willing to help. When I mean servant leader, servant leader, you guys, I'll call her my bamboo, right? My little bamboo. Because you know when bamboo starts up, you know, it starts up real slow, right? It starts up real slow. And then all of a sudden just takes off. So, you guys, this person I'm about to bring up, she's uh, been mentoring her now for about a year. And when I tell you her growth, is just out of this world. She's one of the top traders in my organization. Like I said, she's selfless. She gets up at three o'clock in the morning, you know, on the London sessions with the squad to make sure that they're eating. And then she gets up and she does pop-up calls throughout the day to make sure that everybody is eating. So without further ado, you guys, when I bring this person on, I want us just to come off mute. I want us to do like a drum roll on the TV, I mean, on your table. I want you to stomp your feet. Without further ado, can we get Blue Jay? Blue Jay. Hey, let's go. Blue Jay. Blue Jay. Blue Jay. Blue Jay. Blue Jay. Have you on the London session? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, y'all. Thank you for that introduction, Isis. I really appreciate it. <laughs> you got me all here blessed. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really appreciate it. And I appreciate everybody that's tuning, on, tuning in right now. Shout out to G12, y'all. Shout out to G12, my mentor, Isis, and every, everybody else that's in G12. And then shout out to Trade Nation, because for real, for real, if I would have never met Chad, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know if I would be doing this right now. But um, yeah, shout out to the whole uh, trade nation. So let's go ahead and get started, y'all. Let's go ahead and get started. So right now, right now, what we about to do? I'm um, I'm about to show y'all a different style of trading. I'm about to show y'all a different style of trading. I don't know if any of y'all ever heard of Oren Wright, but Oren Wright is my favorite educator, right? I've always watched him, um, and you know how they say you got to find that person that, that speaks to you. Don't hop around too much, but find that educator that speaks to you, that speaks your language. So I learned majority of the stuff that I know, I learned it from him, right? And I know some people I see in the chat, some people say that's their favorite educator too. So what we're going to do is, um, can somebody come off mute really quick, like, and give me a um, a pair to look at? outside of gold and crypto silver dbp silver. usd all right so i'm gonna do a couple of them i'm not gonna do too many but um let's do uh gu real quick so y'all forgive me i'm not signing to my uh my account because i'm not at home right now but um we're gonna work with this we're gonna work with it so <clears throat> so my style of trading while i pull this up i'm gonna talk to y'all so my style of trading is if it lets me pull it up is i use rinkos i don't know if um if any if any of y'all have ever heard of rinkos but i trade with rinkos rinkos um is another way to trade pips it's another way to trade pips i'm not sure why this is not coming up all right let me switch because it's acting crazy Give me one second, y'all. Mm, so yeah, uh, Rinko's is another way to trade. It's basically like 
y'all um like trading pips or whatever like that. I mean not trading pips, counting pips. Cause candles is candles is basically the uh, measuring the um candles measures is measured by time. And I like like my team know when I get on, I always say I like that long money, right? So with uh Rinko, she gets to did somebody have a question? Okay. Um, with Rinko's, you get to basically just be like, hey, I, I just want the pips. Forget just sitting up there constantly looking at it or whatever the case may be. All right. Sorry about that, y'all. Um, so for people that don't know how to mark up highs and lows or whatever the case may be, that's what Rinko's is for. So give me a second. I got to switch my screen because I couldn't get on the other one. All right. Can y'all see that? Yes. Yes. Yep. Yes. yes. Um, all right. So Rinko's is a way to basically, um, instead of, like I tell my team, like if you are having trouble, if you are having trouble like finding highs and lows in the market or whatever like that, you can switch to Rinko's, and Rinko's gives you your uptrend, your downtrend, your highs, your lows, everything, support, resistance, everything that you're looking for with the regular candles. So um, I'm going to start with GU real quick, like, and I'm going to do it a little bit different than I usually teach my team because I don't want anybody to be confused, right? So the way my favorite educator taught me to do this, I tweaked it my own way, but I'm going to do it the right way so nobody get confused, right? So... So everybody know when you marking up charts, you always look to where the can y'all oh, please mute your line? Uh, you got more sun? Can y'all please mute your line? All right, thank you. <clears throat> All right, so everybody knows that when you're marking up charts, no matter if it's candles or whatever, um, you always look at where the current market is and where my crosshair is right here, that's where the current market is, where this green line is. So with this green line, that's where the current market is and Whatever is done on the left must be done on the right. So what we're gonna do is look to our left, right here, this area right here. So what I'm gonna do is this high right here, this is a high. And when you see a green brick and it goes to a red, a red brick, that means that's a high. So it has already completed this high. Yeah. Uh it has already completed this high right here. All right, so um, so what we're gonna do is go to the next high, which is this, matter of fact, let's, let's do this one right here because it's a lot going on right here. So um, I know somebody's gonna say, hey, um, can we do this on any time frame? Me personally, when I give trades out to my team, I do the, when it's a regular Forex pair, I do the four hour and the daily, right? So what we're going to do is you want to box in, you want to count from the top. And if it's a wick right there, you want to include that wick as well. So you want to go from the top and count down three. Warren using, what Warren Wright says is make sure you box up five bricks, but that's not necessary. All you got to do is count down three because it's going to confuse you. You'd be like, well, I don't have five or I have more than five. I don't want to confuse y'all. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to box it in, right? So go from the top. Let's see. Hopefully I can still do my um, setup. So like I said, you're going to go from the top, which is the number one, include the wick, and you count down three. One, two, and three. That's simple so far, right? All yes. Right, so, all right, cool, cool, cool. So your next move your next move that you want to do is you want to go grab your fibs. You want to grab your fibs and it's, um, basically, just like I said, you want to, this box that we created, that's where you're going to put your fibs at. So, so y'all, this is not my fib setup, but this will work for right now. Let me see if I can change it real quick. Uh, all right, don't worry about it. So, 
let's make this a little bit bigger so that way everybody can see. So right here where it's the two point uh, two three six, that's your twenty five. That's your twenty five, and then your fifty, your seventy five is the which is a seven eight six, and then your one. Let's make this a little bit lower, and then you got your one. So this is not my usual setup, but it's basically self-explanatory when it comes to the physical. It's basically the same thing. So you got your zero, you got your 25, you got your 50, you got your 75, and you got your one. With the 25, that will be your initial, initial entry point, right? So say if you miss the 25 or whatever like that, you can, you can use the 50 or the 75 as your new entry point, just in case you miss the 25, right? And your zero will always be your stop loss, no matter what. It will always be your stop loss. So, excuse me, y'all had some spicy food. Um, so what you want to do is you want to put your vertical line on this third brick. Get my vertical line. So you want to get your vertical line on this third brick. And with that vertical line, vertical line signifies a breakout. So what I'm going to do as soon as I finish marking this up, I'm going to switch to the regular, the regular, um, I'm gonna switch to the regular chart so that way y'all can uh -uh. so that way y'all can see what I'm doing. Cause it's very this this is like one of the simplest strategies that's out there right now. Well it's not even a strategy, it's really a method. Cause I know it's a lot of different strategies out there, but this is a simple method to trade. Um, so, what's the method called again? It's just using wrinkles. If you go to, I'm not sure if you was paying attention, but if you click on where you, uh, the counters is, you go all the way down to right here. Bless you, buddy. So if, say, if y'all don't have, if you don't pay for trading view, um, you won't be able to get the other time frames. You only get the daily time frame, so that, which is why I'm using this. I pay for it, but I can't log into my trading view right now. But it's fine. We're going to work with it. So like I said before, your 25 is always your initial entry point. Your 50, which I took it off here by accident, but I hope y'all taking notes. Um, your 50 is your uh, your first take profit. 75 is your second. Number one, which is 100%, is your third. Like I said before, if you miss the 25, then 50 and 75 can be your new entry points. But like I tell my team, like I said before, I like that long money, so I'm gonna get on in on each one. I'm gonna get on each one because I'm I'm good at what I do and I know. I've been studying this long enough to know when it's gone, if it's going to switch directions or whatever case, uh, whatever the case may be. So let's go ahead and switch to the, um, to the counter chart, right? So look, y'all, remember how I said that breakout? If you look right here, I know it's probably, let's make this small so y'all can see it. So if you look right here, let's zoom in. Can y'all please stay on mute if you do not have any questions? All right, so if you look right here, this area is basically a zone. Because if you look right here, you got wicks, and then it keep trying to push up there, but then it keep creating um, lower lower highs, right? So, um, cause, and then even right here within this zone, it's consolidation, right? So, Right here, where this red count is, where my crosshair is, which is where the vertical line is, you see it broke out of this whole zone. And it re it, it retests the bottom with just with this uh, doji, and then it came back in, and then it consolidated in this zone for a while, and then it dropped. So what you're looking for is for it to, let me go back over. So what you're looking for is for it to come back into that zone, hit the 25, which it hasn't done it yet, but it's gonna be a buy. What was um so like say if it's a sell on one side, if it's a sell on one side, when it come back, it's gonna be a buy. And if it's a sell on um, uh, I mean if it's a buy on one side, when it come back, it's gonna be a sell. So look, y'all, if y'all look right here, this is the let me make a draw horizontal line real quick so y'all can see. This right here is your 25. You're watching. This right here is your 25 line, right? So if y'all look, it broke above that, closed, and now, well, it was retesting. The market is closed right now. So can y'all see that? Because I, I got pretty good eyes, but I'm not sure if everybody else can see it. Yeah, we see it. All right, cool. Thank you. 
All right, so if y'all look right here, it's, it's starting to retest this area. It's gonna retest it, and then you can get in that trade. So y'all just got a free trade for Monday, Sunday. So, and this is on the daily time frame. So this 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 concept is is pretty simple. It's nothing too complicated. It finds your highs and your lows for you. It finds your support and your resistance, your um everything, your trend line. So that's another thing I want to show you. Let me go back real quick. So if you look, this is this is the highest high as far as you can see on the screen, right? This is your highest high. So, and this is your, your lowest low, right? So it gives you a trend. So from here, if you draw your trend down, that it shows you basically your trend. So right here, one, I'm a this is what I would tell my team. If you look right here, you got you got so uh this is resistance. So when they come back to this, because you got one touch, two touch, three touch, and it wicked. So when it come back, when it come back, it's gonna break through it, bounce, it's gonna bounce off this line, which is a retest, and then shoot up. And then you can ride this bad boy all the way up. Get that long money like I like. <laughs> get that long money. So um, yeah, so for anybody that's on here new, for anybody that's on here new, you can this is like a very simple way without using indicators because I don't use the indicators myself. So um, I like to do like the naked trading, um, like my uh, ment uh, like my favorite educator taught me, right? So um, like I said, you can find a trend line. So this would be support right here because this is triple top. And then like even if you use this one right here, that's another triple top. I don't know if y'all can see that, but you got like a whole bunch of support and resistance through here. And then even like say if you like to trade head and shoulders, that's my favorite pattern. So if you look, <clears throat> if you look right here, let me make sure I'm doing this right. You got this, boom, boom, boom. Let's bring this over. And it's gonna come back up and then it's, it's basically trying, well it's already, it's almost completed. And then you ride that bad boy up. Is that simple enough y'all? If anybody got any questions, go ahead and um, you can come off mute and ask. But if you don't have any questions, please stay on mute. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. I have another. I have a question. Go ahead. So you said that the uh, the stop loss will be zero. Is that reversing the actual uh, field? No, you just draw it from high to low. Like if you the if you're. Field is I didn't hear what you said. Your phone's breaking up. I'm sorry. So is the field incorrectly uh, um, from what I'm seeing now? So what are the settings for the FIBs? Okay, so with the FIBs, I'm going to do it over again so you can see. So you won't be uh, confused or anything. Give me a second. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So like I said, you're going to draw like this box right here. That lets you know what, what you got to box up. I mean, what you got to draw your field. So what you're going to do, this is the high. This green box, this green brick at the top is your high. This red, the third brick, which is the red one, is your low. So you're going to draw from your high. You're going to spread it out so you can get across to your low. So the numbers is off. Cause I, I clicked on the wrong thing, but yeah, if you're, if, it, if you're doing, um, this would be, like I said, this would be a buy when it come back round, which you can see right here on the right hand side, but you going from high to low or low to high. I'm gonna give you another example too. So give me a second. So this is right here on this side is your low. So you'll do the same thing, draw your box. And I'm gonna do that too. Cause I know somebody else probably had a question, but was too scared to come off mute and act. So, so you're gonna do your third brick, and I don't want to go too far. Let's see. All right, it's perfect. So, like I said before, you want to always do your wick, include the wick in that if it's next to the red brick. So the red is your low, and this third brick, this third green brick is your high. So like we did before, you're gonna do your fibs from low to high, and you don't have to reverse it or anything, matter of fact, this one you do. Cause a zero is always gonna be, when you doing a sale or whatever, when you doing a, um, this is gonna be a sale, which was already completed already. Cause it came right back down to it.
but this one in this case you will reverse it and so let's go ahead and do that but usually it should already usually it should already be right because the zero is always supposed to be at the top either the west either the okay let me let me reverse that so wherever you begin it for your high low for this case this is the beginning this is the beginning right here so you want to make sure your zero is right here at the bottom in this case i see what you say uh let's see hold on let me make sure because i don't want to confuse y'all that's 100 matter of fact no i'm wrong it was correct let's reverse it back i'm sorry y'all and i did it right the first time so yeah when it comes back it's always when it comes back to complete this it's always going to be a one what in the world hold on y'all let me see if i can get out of this one what in the world is this Oh, snap. Hold on, y'all. These pop-ups. Shoot. All right, let me pull that back up. Hopefully it's saved. <clears throat> the, um, so did that? I know it cleared it out. For the person that had that question, did that answer your question? No. Uh, give me one. I had a specific question. You talked about your FIB settings. Are those different than the default FIB settings when yes, you're drawing it them? It, it really, it, yes, it is. Um, and is that essential for this? Because I, I would love those. <laughs> By the way, this is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, you're welcome. Um, Yes, I can get those. Well, I don't have my laptop with me. So let's see if I memorize this correctly. I can see. Let's see. Go to my fibs. Blue Jay, Somewhere. you can just sign into your trading view. Just log into your trading view and it'll already be set up. Yeah, but it's not. For some reason, this computer is not letting me sign into it. That's why. Yeah, that's why I'm not signing into mine. Um, so somebody from G12, because I, I want everybody to have this information. So somebody from G12, can y'all. I'm gonna just draw it out real quick. All right, there it is. Somebody from G12, um, can y'all give me the settings? Cause I don't remember them. Then we can screenshot them. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Let's see. Is the Renee in here? I am in here. I'm actually looking right now to see if I can find it. Um, I don't know if I have it saved. I have it, Jay. All right. All right, we'll run ahead. it. Yeah, go ahead and go. Matter of fact, I got it right here on my phone because I was trying to look at y'all, but uh, let's go ahead and click on it. Hold on one second. All right, so zero. Uh -uh. Point five, point five. And if I, if G12, if y'all on here, uh, well, I know y'all on here, but if I did it wrong, because I'm looking at it from my phone, if I did it wrong, just let me know. Zero point five. There it is. I don't think this is 25. And this is one. The second one's 25. The third one's 75. Okay, thank you. And the fourth one's one. Your top right is 0 0.5. All right, hold on one second. So you said the third one is what now? 75. The one below that is one. And then your top right is 0 0.5. Thank you so much, whoever that was. Appreciate you. Perfect. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this. Uh, let's go to let's go back to set so y'all can get that. Uh, whenever y'all get that, let me know so I can go ahead and move on. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So, does anybody else have any other questions? Is this different from the above and below settings? That's your own settings. 
Um, I'm not sure what above and below settings are. Um, I think from what I've seen before with a kill, I think it's uh, uh, the regular settings. I'm not sure though, because I really don't do above and below. This is the only method that I use to trade unless above I see a Above and below pattern. or default. What was that? Above and below or default. They are. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's what I thought. Um, but yeah, these are settings that I got from Oren Wright. Um, so yeah, this, that's where these settings come from. So, all right, let's go through one more. My AP, my accountability partner said USD czar. So let's, let's get this. Ooh. I have a question for you, Jay. What's going on? Can you do this on like a 15 minute, five minute, or like an hour time frame instead of like a daily or the, or, or, or what can you do? What time frames can you do this on? Or what time frames fit best for you to do this on? Okay, so it depends on the um, the pair. So regular Forex pairs use the four hour order day. For indices, because I know a lot of people like trading indices, do the 15 minute or the 30. And the only reason I say 15 minute or the 30 is because um, I've lost trades because I've tried to do it on higher time frames. But if you do decide to use it on the four hour or the daily, move it out 100 pips. Move your stop, add another 100 pips to your stop loss because it, your stop loss will be hit. It will be hit because um, indices need room to breathe. And this, this pair right here moves like indices. So if it moves like indices or is an indices, add another hundred to your stop loss so that way it won't it won't hit your stop loss at all. And I know somebody might ask this, so I'm gonna go ahead and say it right now. My um my rate, like my um win loss ratio, I'm between eighty five and ninety percent using this method. I'm um, 80, yeah, 85, between 85 and 90 um, using this method because you also have trial and error and stuff happens. So, all right, so we're going to go through it one more time so that way everybody can um, can understand it and, and have it down. So, yeah, like I said, if y'all have any questions, go ahead and ask while I'm, uh, while I'm doing this. So like I said before, you um, you always want to put your vertical line on your third brick because that signifies your breakout, right? And then so that way you can remove the fibs, you put your horizontal line on each percentage. And then also what I also learned with this same method, if you use the regular uh, fib settings, you can use it. And in my opinion, depending on what it is, what pair you're trading, it's a little bit more um, it's a little bit more better because like say if it hits a resistance point um, and it keeps bouncing in between that area you can draw the fibs if you decide to you can draw the fibs on top of what you already have as far as your lines and then you'll understand why it's it's doing that that ping pong effect thing right so let's go to the counter chart so all right so like I said before we got our fibs, we drew our fibs out, right? And right here, you have your breakout count. It broke out of this out of, out of this whole fib zone right here. It broke out and it hasn't retested yet. It hasn't came all the way back to this zone to retest, but it looks like it looked like it, it will soon. I don't know how soon, but very soon. So um, here go another trade setup. And if you want, if you want it to, uh oh, hold on, give me one second, y'all. If you wanted to, you can remove, if it'll let me, I was trying to remove the fibs, but it's fine. You can remove the fibs so that way it won't confuse you. And then also, if you if you use this method, put the date, um, put the date that you marked it up because wrinkles do move. Um, they do move. Um, so, cause I know it's a couple of times that I marked it up and I'm like, man, I don't even know what happened. And I'll be like, forget it. Let's delete it and start over again. So, and then also, whenever you're trading, whenever you're trading and it don't hit, do not delete it. Let it play out. Because, for an example, I had a gold trade that just hit, um, what, about a, last week or two weeks ago, something like that. And all because I had patience, it hit and it shot through. 
it shot through and I made a couple hundred dollars off of that. Me and my team. I don't know how much my team made, but I don't know how much I made. But we got we got the bag together, right? We got the bag together. So if it don't hit, don't um don't erase it. Don't delete um don't delete the chart or anything. Leave it right where it is because it's going to um it will come back to that zone. And if you want to, say if you don't have time, say if you don't have time to um look at the chart. Say if you don't have time to actually sit and look at the chart or whatever like that. You could put you can put an alert in if you pay. Um, Cause I know if you only got TradingView, the basic version, you get one alert. You can pay for TradingView or do the free uh, trial, or you can do a buy limit or sell limit. You can do a buy limit or a sell limit, not a stop, a limit. So then that way you, it plays out and you ain't gotta look at it. Set it and forget it, basically. So, do anybody have any questions? Hi, I have a question. I'm new. So with what you have here, what would I put into MetaTrader 4? Because that's all I have right now. So, so what you would do is, let me make this bigger so you can see because it's kind of small. What you would do is your entry point would be your 25. So that's what, uh, so if you do a limit, you will put 25 as your entry point, which is these numbers right here off to the right hand side, these blue numbers. And then um, your stop loss is a zero, which is this bottom number right here. And then depending on what you want to do, if you want to ride it all the way to one, you can, but if you want to just get your bag and run, then you can do the 50%, which is right here. Or you can also do a trailing stop or twin trade. You got multiple options that you can actually do. Um, it's your choice and it's based off what, what, your, uh, what your goal is for that day or week. Some of these trades, like the gold trade I took two weeks ago, it took two days to hit after a couple of weeks of waiting for it to hit. So I knew that gold was going to go up to, what was it, 18, I think it was 1830 something. I knew it was going to go up there, but I had to be patient and wait. And that's another part of trading. We get paid to wait. You got to have patience. You got to be confident. And you, gotta, you just got to wait. We get paid to do this. So not, why, why not wait? All right, so do anybody have any other questions so far? Um, I have one more. Um, so what would the market execution be? It will still be the same entry point. Okay. It'll be the 25. So like I was saying earlier, if you miss the 25 entry point, you can do the 50. But it's the same rules apply. Great retest trade. If it doesn't break and close above, do not, do not get in that trade. Do not. Cause that's basically FOMO, fear of missing out, and you don't want to have that. So, um, if you miss the twenty-five entry or you miss the fifty, you go to seventy-five. But if you just, you got three entry points that you can use, and two of those entry points can be used as take profit as well. Thank you. You're welcome. Did somebody else have a question? Yeah, I got a question. Go ahead. So, um, so does that also include for the um for the USD and Euro uh, side as well? The whole entry points like twenty five and five and seven. Right. Yeah, the in this this entry point um twenty five is always your entry point, no matter what you trade. Okay. Um, yeah, it's always gonna be your entry point, no matter what you trade. So, um, that's all. Twenty five is always your original entry point. Zero is always your original uh stop loss. Everything else can fluctuate based on um, if you miss it or not, or what your what your pip goals are, or money amount is, okay. um, or even percentage. Um, um, can we go to the um, to the euro and USD side now? Because that's what I'm you, doing. You said what now? Can we go to like the USD and uh and euro side? You want to do euro USD? Yeah. Please. Okay, I got you. Thank you. You're welcome. Quick question um, before yeah, you yeah. change the chart. Um, before you change that one. So you see how your fib is the zero is at the top or at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And that's for if it's going for a sale, the zero is at the bottom. For a buy, the zero is at the top. Is that how we're doing it? Hold on. 
So this high right here, you see uh -huh. what his wick is? You want it to right, come back. To, you basically want it to come back to that point. So yes, the zero will be on the bottom. Okay, because my zero is at the top. Mine is upside down. Okay, yeah, it's supposed to be the zero. Is supposed to... Okay, go so ahead. sorry, go ahead. No, you go. Yeah, the zero is supposed to be at the bottom because when it completes, it's 100%. Okay. So, you, so zero you is at the bottom for a for a sale. In this case, it's a buy. In for this case, okay. this case is a buy because a sale, it, zero is at the at the top for a sale. Hold on. Let's let's go ahead and do it real quick, so because I don't want you confused. Let's go ahead and do it real quick, like. All right. So. Boom, let's make this bigger. So yeah, if you look right here, you go on, you always go from either low to high or high to low, and zero is always gonna be um on that third brick. Okay. Yeah, it's always gonna be on the uh, either top or bottom of that third brick. In this case, it's gonna be on the top because it's going up. Got it. So um you with why does it keep doing this? Um I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know why. It keeps keep doing, doing that. It keeps doing that because you don't have an account. You're not logged into any account. Oh, so you want to start putting your, your email and log into an account or create one. So it's gonna keep popping up because you're using it without an account. Oh, okay. I'm glad you said mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Reload. All right, so does that answer your question about um, where the zero is going to be at? Yeah, the zero is always at the third brick, whether it's high or low. So I just make sure the zero is at the third brick. Right, right, right. All right, so do anybody else have any questions before I move on? I don't know. Um, what was that? I got a question for you. Can you mark this up on your MetaTrader 4, or you just have to use Trade View to mark this up? So it is a way to do wrinkles on um, MetaTrader 4. I haven't figured it out yet. I used to know, but I, when I learned it, I didn't write it down, which is my fault. But it is a way to do it on MetaTrader 4. I just got to figure it out again. But also, if say if you don't have, um, you don't want to pay for trading view, it's a website called investing.com. If you go to investing.com, you can get the wrinkles on there as well. So that way, just in case you don't want to pay the twenty something dollars or however much it costs, um, you can get it for free. Does anybody else have any more questions? Yeah. <laughs> when you're marking up your chart, um, I'm guess I'm wondering how are you picking that area to mark up? Like you're not going all the way from top to bottom or nothing like that. So. So let's go. Ahead. Okay, so let's go ahead and do another chart real quick so that way you can understand this. All right, so um what you're looking for is where the market is right right at the current moment. Um so right here with this green this green dotted line, that's your current market. Whatever is done on the left has to be done on the right. So basically it has to come all the way back up to here. Um, cause it already broke these two highs. I mean, broke all this high, right? Or this resistance, um, or ceiling, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it already broke this. So your next move will be right here. It will be up here because you're always looking to the left. Either you can look down or you can look up as long as you look to your left. And that's the, that's basically the whole concept. So, um, does that answer your question? Yeah, because it's either going to go up or down. So you can mark both really against the high and the low. Right. You can you can actually do that. But one is going to take longer than the other just because of the way the market is going at that point in time. Hold on one second. Y'all got to get my charge. My phone about to die. <clears throat> I got a quick question. Go ahead. So when you place the pick, when you place the, the, the um, tool onto the, onto the 
Your phone is you, breaking up. Can you? Go ahead. Oh, I don't know. Is this good? Is this it's still kind of uh, it's still kind of staticky. Ah, dang. Um, yeah, what I, you can, to answer. what you can do is put your uh your question in the chat and then somebody can read it out to me. Phone is up. Okay, can you confirm something for me? Um, so we look at current market and mm -hmm. then we look to the left. Are you choosing the highest high that's to the left or are you choosing the highest high on the screen? I guess is what I'm trying to figure out because in one example, I know you've done a few now, but in one example, you went to the highest point from current market but it wasn't the highest high of your chart. And then in one example, it was the highest high. So can you clarify that? So what it would be is, um, so say if this didn't happen already, like if, well, this already happened, but all of this over here hasn't happened, right? So I usually pick the previous high to, to uh, in relation to where the current market is. Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. So it's not the highest high or the highest low. It's going to be look at current market and then what was the last high and what was the last low. And that's what you focus on when you count your three. Right. right. So like, say for instance, say if this, all of this, let's go right by right here. Say if none of this happened from where, from my crosshairs on up, say if none of that happened, we could have used this one right here. We could have used this one right here. But in this case, because it's a triple top, you have like a triple top, and I know some people don't understand this, and it might confuse them. I'm gonna let y'all. Some might want to learn this, but if you have a triple top or a double top, that is a strong area. It's based on support and resistance. It's a very strong area. So, like I had said earlier, it has it has touched this area, this basically this this area three times. So, one brick, two brick, three. It's three green bricks right here, but it couldn't break through. It kept on wicking, which is these two weeks right here. But it wouldn't break through until this right here on the right hand side and it broke through now it's above this week and it's it's key it's keep going up so right now it's on the uptrend on a daily time frame did that answer your question tracy yes it did thank you all right you're welcome all right so do anybody else have any questions i'm gonna go ahead and mark this up for y'all so that way y'all can understand if anybody else is confused or whatever like that so, like I said before, oh, I gotta do this over again. I'm sorry, y'all. But y'all got the field set up, so this is fine. So you go from your high to your low, and you draw your fibs, and then you put your vertical line on the third brick. So then you'll switch to your candle chart. This is a head and shoulders pattern. Oh, that's a head and shoulders. All right, so, um, so yeah, are you doing like switch to the regular chart? So your next move when you you're just waiting, you're just patiently waiting for it to hit the 25, and then a hey, you a hey, you just ride it out until it either hit the 50, 75, or one, whichever one you want to, whichever one you want to do. Me personally, I do all I do all three. And when it hits the, um, so say for instance, when it hits the 50, I move my um, stop loss to break even. Because you don't want to leave no money on the table. So each time it hits a certain area, you want to move your stop loss. So that way you don't leave nothing on the table just in case it reverses. Because it can happen. It definitely can happen. So what I've, uh, for those that want to trade indices, what I've realized that if you trade indices and you mark it up on a daily order, um, four hour time frame, it's gonna hit the fifty and drop. It won't go through. The, if it go through the fifty, it won't go too far through it. But it's gonna hit the fifty and then it's gonna drop. And if you don't have um, your stop loss at break even or in profit, then you're gonna lose money. So um, it will take it a while if you do it on a daily order, four hour. If you're trading indices, so that's why I always tell my team. 
do it on the 15 minute or the 30 because yeah the amount of pips is little but you can always increase your lot size you can always increase your lot size so um i appreciate everybody that's on here that is um uh, that's all i have for y'all um so one last time do anybody else have any questions or comments yes i have one quick question go ahead um just uh are you waiting on the uh, on the is it a buy stop or is or a sell stop? Or are we still waiting on the break retest trade? Are those so, twenty five fifty or not? So um depending on the direction, it'll be a sell stop, I mean not sell stop, sell limit or buy limit, depending on the direction. In this case it would be a buy limit. All right, so so once it crosses to twenty five, we set up uh, uh, we set our buy limit after it crosses or breaks and closes above the twenty five. Right, or you can set it ahead. Of, you can set it before time, before it even gets to the twenty five. So that way, just in case you miss it, or whatever the case may be, you still can get your bag. Okay. All right, gotcha. So that's yeah. That's why I don't. That's why you don't do a stop because it stops once it hits that point. It it already activates, and you don't want that. Just in case it reverses. Right, right, right. right. Anybody else? Hey, yeah. Jay, can you uh, zoom in a little bit so we can screenshot this? Yeah, I got you. So I have one comment. Do something similar like um, the 25 to life. Like I'm getting 25 to life vibes. Okay, so I, I okay, so <laughs> you getting that because Orin Wright <laughs> is the one that taught me this. Oh, okay, um, okay. And that's why that's why you're getting it. Um, I'm not gonna get into 25 to life. You can like the sometimes you can use 25 to life on um, say if you mark over wrinkles, you can use 25 to life on that same setup, depending on if you see it or not. Um, but I personally, if you was gonna use 25 to life, I'll go down to like the hour time frame because the daily time frame and the four hour account is a little bit bigger. But I would, if you was to look for 25, like go down to the hour time frame and you'll see something. But yeah, okay. Orin, you, you see it because Orin Wright is the one that taught, taught me this. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Jay, is there a video that you can reference on where you learned this? I know you learned it from Orin Wright. Is it on one of his favorites for his recordings or maybe if we need um, additional guidance, we can go to that video? Yes. So, um, let me see. It was January. Jay, I'll help you out. February 1st, on right recordings, February 1st. Okay. He did three, three consecutive videos. Um, so if you go back at his recordings and go to the date is February 1st, he went in. It was a Thursday. Yeah. Right. And then also, it also is a, it's a, it's somewhere in January. And I think it should be in the favorites. Where he does, um, he does all his twenty-five to life, um, wrinkles, and it's, it's and it's 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 one more that he does. But um, yeah, you can go through his favorites and you'll. Oh, I'm impressed with having, but I don't know if they got that. Okay, so we can get this. Thank you. Um, so yeah, you can go to his favorites and just like I think that was Noble Jews. You can go to the February video. You can go to his favorites. Um, and then you can even look through it. If you go too far back, then you will see a old, the old way he did Rinko's, um, cause he, he, he has updated it. So don't go too far back if you just look through his videos. Um, cause if you look through them, you'll see also the bricks, like the screen you'll see his, uh, his monitor has the Rinko bricks on there. Um, but yeah, I would just suggest going to the favorites. And if you don't get, get it there, then just go through, um, his videos. Did anyone else have a question? I got one quick question about the candles, how you count it. So you count the highest candle and you said you counted three down? Uh, where's the, let's go back to it real quick. So you count, you're actually counting bricks. So you're going from either the high or the low. In this case, I did the high. So you count from the high, which is the green brick, and it reverses to the red one. So one, two, three. So you just count in either up three or down three, depending on which way uh, the market is going. 
Thank you. That's what I was wondering. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, y'all. So I appreciate y'all um tuning in. Um that is all my time. I'm gonna say this, y'all. I'm gonna say this like I tell my team when we do our Sunday sessions and we do our Wednesday sessions. I like to watch a lady named Tabitha Brown. Um, she's been a big influence on social media. So yes. <laughs> All right, so look, y'all go ahead and have y'all a good day. Stay tuned. Don't get off now, but y'all have y'all a good day. And even if you can't have a good day, don't go messing up nobody else's. I appreciate y'all hopping on and tuning in. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Thank you, New Day. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Guys, that was straight fire. Y'all dropped some 77s in the chat bar for Miss Blue Jay, y'all. When I tell you it's always blue season and G12 is always blue seasons, you guys. So definitely I hope you guys took notes. Money makers are note takers, you guys. And we are not done. Y'all thought we was done? We're not even done yet, you guys. Before I bring on this next individual, you know we're going to have to swerve it out. Like uh, Noble said, we got to dance. We got to get in the energy. So y'all know we got to turn up before we bring on this uh, next individual right here because it's um, uh, the one and only our mentor. But before I bring him on, Mr. No More 9 to 5, let's drop some tunes. Hold on, y'all. I got something for y'all. I want to see y'all dance. Go ahead. Come off the camera, baby. We finally made it, baby. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let me see y'all moving. Let's go. Hey, turn, baby. It's halftime, baby. It's halftime, baby. Do this for your mama. Do this for your bloodline. Do this for your kids' future. Let's turn up. Let's go. Congratulations! Let's go, Trade Nation! Turn up, baby. Let me see who I got on his dancing. Don't be shy, baby. Let's go. Woo! Who with me? Who with me? Who ain't scared to come off camera? Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, G12. Let's go. Come on, this is your year. This is your year. Let me see you move. Oh, okay. We still on? We still on? Let's go. Let's go. Hey, we're flying the babies. Hey, hey, let's go. Let's go. Whoa, we're flying the babies. Let's go. Turn up. Yes, 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 yes. I got it. Oh, 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 right I got it. Right on. We're going to slow it down. We're going to slow it down. We're going to slow it down. That is let's what go. I am talking about. Let's go, y'all. Let me tell y'all, y'all got to get crunk. When I say this is half time, you guys, this is half time. What are you going to do? What are you are, are you going to become? What are you leaving your family? Right? What are you leaving your children? You have to do this for your last name. Shout out to Taylor, man. Taylor told that call up about three Sundays ago or something. But she said, what are you going to do for your last name? Guys, this is beyond us. We got to get uncomfortable, right? We have to get uncomfortable to live comfortable, right? We have to. So you got to, you, it, it's no more of, oh my gosh, I'm scared to open up my live account. Open up your live account today and get ready for Sunday. There's no more, oh, I'm nervous to do a presentation because of how I sound or how I look. This is beyond you. Like Noble said, you have to, um, you have, okay, okay. You have to, uh, you have to lead from the heart. You have to let the, you have to lead from the heart, right? So before I bring on this next individual, they requested a special song. Uh, so I got to play it really quick. They just uh, put it in there for me. But you guys, you got to really bring it up. And he said he need the whole song 
He said he need the whole four minutes to run out on the song. So uh, I hope y'all got y'all water. Cause uh, he said I need the four minutes, the whole song to play. So y'all got to get crunk for this next song for our mentor, Mr. Chad, double nine to five. I'm about to bring him on in just a second. But I need you guys to get crunk again, y'all. Let's go, we're gonna be starting in four minutes, four minutes. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Let's go. We don't need no music. 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 Let's go. No more nine to five. We turn. 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 Turn up, turn up. Let's get it. Turn it up, baby. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Whatever song it is, it's lit. It's lit. It's lit. It's lit. It's lit. Oh, 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 whatever song it is, it's lit. Whatever song it is, it's lit. Whatever song it is, it's lit. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 Hello, Isis. Isis is going to end by herself. Yeah. No more. 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 No Yo, we dancing to the beat of our heartbeat. I love it. No more non the song. Don't give up. Keep on the time, okay? One time. Yeah. 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 Ice is getting it. Whatever song this is, Ice is yes. It's that song. Oh, it's that hit single right here. It's that hit. Go coach. Go coach. They need to play this song everywhere. Hey. 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 Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Look, you can't beat him, join her. I'm with her. I'm with her. Chairman Year. Yes. This is Chairman Year. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Yes. That is Where's the music? All right. All right. All hey. right. Let's yes, go. Isis. Ooh. Isis, I got to tell you how lit you are. We couldn't hear no music, but we felt your vibe. <laughs> <laughs> True <laughs> that. Yo, this is Chairman Year, baby. You got to feel it. You got to feel it. Let me pause this real quick, y'all. Let me pause this real quick. Hold on. It won't stop. Wait a minute. Y'all, this is the chairman year. Either you're going to be chairman on the charts, or you're going to be chairman residually, or you're going to be getting both bags. Which y'all got to feel. Let's go. Get them both. Let's, Let's get baby. them both. Let's go, baby. We coming for both of them. Let's, Let's go. go. Both bags, baby. Yeah. Hey, can everybody hear me? Yes, yes. Got Mr. No More 95. Really quick, Chad, before I bring you on, you guys, who I'm about to bring on is our fierce leader, Mr. No More 9 to 5. You guys, he has helped over 211 six-figure earners in the last 10 years. And he has helped over 10,000 people fire their freaking boss. So without further ado, Mr. No More 5, Mr. Chad Hunter!
Go. 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 And let's go. Let's go. All the way from Vegas, baby. Guys, bring them Vegas vibes. Let's go. 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 Get ready to smack your boss. Mr. Chad, are you there with us? Yeah, Chad went to get some water. He's coming right back now. Okay, cool. All right, guys. So today, yeah, it's hot in Vegas. Mm. So today we have some phenomenal speakers. Let's throw the heart emojis in the chat for Ice's love for putting this phenomenal training together. Uh, I just love the passion from everybody. But my segment is going to be very strong. But I hate to tell you, this is not going to be long. All right, so we're going to be about 20 six minutes or less so i want you i want you to make sure that you are ready and prepared mentally and you ready with your notes but i want you to feel what i'm gonna say today right because i'm gonna talk about the business building side and you just heard some trading information matter of fact comment blue season if josh just blessed your life with that awesome trading with the wrinkled candlesticks. I love that, I believe. Um, but for the next 90 days, this is really what I want to talk about. Because when you're going from, you know, A to pay, it happens in 90 day cycles. Every 90 days we grind and then we rest 10, right? So when we rest 10, let me tell you what rest means. Rest means we're analyzing the work we did. Analyze and improve it. So those 10 days, we're not just doing nothing. We're looking at our work. We're looking at all our flyers. We're looking at everything we've done. We're looking at our posts. We're looking at the quality of pictures. We're looking at how we've been utilizing the Mojo app, right? We look at our communication. We check our call log. We say, who did we meet new? Who's the old relationships that we're still talking to, right? That, that serve our future none, right? So in 90 days, and in those 10 days, that's what we do. We rest. But to build your business, to take it from right now where you are, to platinum 5,000, because I believe everybody on this line deserves platinum 5,000. So comment P5 if that's you, if I'm talking to you. Because this is what we have to do. And I'm gonna write this one in green because it's not just the mechanics. And remember, I'm not the best speller in the world. I barely graduated high school. Like my level of education, as you see, it's like less than, I should be making like $11 an hour if it, if it was up to them. But because it's up to me, I'm a millionaire, right? So all the excuses you're telling yourself, you don't have to have that. It's going to take more than mechanics. This is what it's going to take for 90 days. It's going to take your philosophy, right? And I'm not even going to try to spell that, right? But it's going to take your philosophy. So the philosophy, let's start there first, because the mechanics are easy. The mechanics are easy. There's only two things you need to go from A to pay. Now, pay has to be clearly defined. You can't say rich. I posted on my Instagram on my treadmill tips. You can't say, oh, my goal is to get rich. That is not a number. That is not defined enough in the universe for it to give it to you. Right? What are you going to do when you're rich is a goal. What are you going to look like when you're rich is a goal. But I don't want none of you on this line to say my goal is to get rich because that's not good enough. That's not good enough. Hey, I want to get rich. Look at the universe. Hey, I want to get rich. Universe responds with when. <laughs> they say, well, what the fuck does that mean? 
No, you gotta say, hey universe, I want a big ass house with glass in it. That way, that way when I when I'm outside training my team, I can look in there and see my kids. Matter of fact, universe, I want four kids. So you know what? I actually need 200 grand for each kid in their account. So universe, I need more than 800K because that's just for my kids. So what I want is unlimited income, especially if the government is printing money every day. Unlimited. God, and since I'm your highest form of creation, all I have to do is believe. That's in the good book. Wow. So let's go back to the, let's go back to it. Your philosophy, which we're going to start on, it starts with your mindset. We're not thinking $11 an hour no more. We're thinking our age times a thousand. That's our mindset. Our mindset has to be set that profits are better than wages. This is what our mindset has to be set on because the mechanics don't matter if you still believe your job is more important than your business. So what I mean by profit versus wages, it might take you 40 years working your job just to be broke. It might take you three years of being broke year one, being broke year two, being broke year three, and then right at the end of year three, you make a profit that's so large, 40 years couldn't even pay it. So that's why my mentor, Jim Romy, always says profits are better than wages. So you have to believe that. I don't care how many blown accounts you have, you gotta believe when the TP finally hits, it's gonna be worth more than all of your losses. That's the mindset of this thing. Now, the philosophy, now that we got your mindset right, and now that we know that the power of belief is all we need, and the power of belief is shown through our actions. So like I just said, if, 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 if you're taking no action, we know you don't believe. We know you don't. So you can say you believe all day long, but but the, but your actions is showing that the most you're ever going to be, your pay raise, is going to be a supervisor instead of an owner. So so I need you to tag somebody that you love and say, hey, our pay raise will be owner style, not supervisor style. The supervisors get like five dollar raises. Owners, <laughs> exactly. So the philosophy is simple. You gotta become the solution, not the problem. Become the solution and not the problem. What does that mean? That means you gotta take your life serious. All hundred of you should be checking in with me on Instagram, uh, doing our health check. Whether you're walking, whether you're, you know, you're getting some cardio, whether you're riding a bike, you know, you gotta do this stuff. Because it's not all about wealth, it's about money too. <laughs> and then um and then the solution the philosophy is because most people they let bills take them out they let bills take them out that's what we want to talk about the philosophy on bills see you need to sacrifice some of your bills some of you if you actually lose some of the services that you're paying for and just downgrade just a little bit, not forever. Like before I could have an iPhone, I was on Metro. I needed that $50 a month phone bill versus the $211 I was paying just until I got some money. Like this is all important stuff. Now, business will never be normal. You gotta get obsessed. That's why the philosophy is so serious because whatever you're used to doing, whatever you used to be obsessed about, you gotta go even harder. You gotta, you gotta eliminate your distractions. Let's think of it like this, because remember, this is our philosophy we're talking about. Let's think about distractions as little devils. They're little devils. See, most people think the devil shows up in horns, but that's not true. He shows up in distractions because our most valuable asset, 
Hold on, here we go. Thank you, God. Our most valuable asset is our mind. So guess what? The devil knows that if he can distract our mind by confusing us with things we don't even need, he can take enough time. Watch this. Truth, truth. The time. Things you must, things I must experience. The devil knows if he can distract you long enough over time, things I must experience will be the wrong experience. It'll be the wrong experience. You'll be experiencing racism in the news, and you don't have nothing to do with that. You'll be, you'll be experiencing all this hate, and you'll think the world doesn't have love. Right, you'll be True. experiencing so many other people's experiences that's not even yours. So half of the fucking battle to getting rich is literally your philosophy. It's literally your philosophy. It's how long can you stay focused, right? Now, the next philosophy is how you look at courage. This is important. How do you look at courage, right? How do you look at courage? Because doing the work fast versus doing it slow has everything to do with your courage. Like you hear, like I'm gonna give you the mechanics. Now, whether you do it right now after I give you the mechanics, or whether you do it like, ain't no telling. But if it's anything less than right now, it's all about your courage. It's all about your courage. And what if it was as easy as just getting people to know why you're doing this? Think about it. What if it was as simple as people just wanted to know why you're doing this? Because people actually partner with people who know why and where they're going. Why and where? So if you don't have the courage, because remember, you're God's highest form of creation. You could have been an insect. You could have been a stick. Right? Think about the sperm cell that created you. You could have been one second, one skeet away from being a turtle. You are blessed to be a human. Think about how God created you. You could have been a tree. You could have been the wood. You could have been a nail. You could have been a baby with no sight. You could have been a baby with one leg. You are who you are for a damn reason. Now let's talk about the mechanics. Now, before we talk about the mechanics, I just want to know who are you? Let Unmute your line and let me hear your first and last name, dot com. Who are you? Aisha, Queen oh, Bass. baby. Oh, oh, baby. Dr. Satchel. 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 Dr. TheWealthyRenee.com for the second time. All right, listen. Let's get real intimate real quick. All right? Real quick. What's up, girls? Cool. Let's get intimate real quick. The whole goal of the mechanics, because most people, if you, don't know, if you don't know why you're doing what you're about to do, then you probably won't do it. So the reason why, why you want to build the business is because it's going to collapse decades into days, right? Decades. Some of y'all literally got about 10 more years left of working. Some of y'all have about 20 more years left of working. Some of y'all 18 years old, so you got the whole 40 years left. So what we're about to do here is collapse decades. If you want to retire in 52 weeks, you got to do the mechanics. You got to get your philosophy right, right? The way you think, how you think. Then you got to change the narrative of your book because you got the pen. You're actually writing your book. But when you only go to work every day with no goals, you just wake up and you know your tasks. Some of y'all can drive to work, sleep. You've been just going through the motion so much. 
So you got to take back the pen so you can write the story. How do you take back the pen? The first mechanic is your calendar. You have to have your 24 hours planned before it gets here. You can't wake up and plan your day, to be honest. And the world is full of competition. So you got to have a plan. Like if you're not working every day, your competition is. So if you take five days off, somebody that you was better than is now better than you. The person you were supposed to sign up now is signing up with the person because you took a day off. So you got to think like this, back at zero every single day, like for real, for real. And people do what you do. That's why me personally, I'm the type of leader. I decided when I was 21 years old, I never want to be the type of leader that's just too smart for his own good. I want to put in work. I want to, I want to work and learn everything. I don't want to just learn, like just, just be on a call all day long. I want to get in the field. I want to try the script. They say the script work. Well, I'm going to try it five times. And if it don't work, I'm not going to say it don't work. I'm going to say, Hey, I tried it five times. Can you help me adjust the script? So it works for me. So see, leaders lead, winners win. Why do you think you are a champion? Let's think about this. Why do you think you are a champion? Because someone else has to lose for you to win. So we can't be the losers. We got to go through our 52. This is the mechanic. We got to go through our 52 attempts every day. That's the work, ladies and gentlemen. But if your mindset is not stuck on profit versus wages, if your mindset is not stuck on where you're going versus why you're at where you're at, if your mindset is not stuck on I am a powerful person, I have my little girl, my little daughter all the way every time she wakes up, I am a powerful little girl. Right, where's your affirmation at? Like, you got to have courage. It starts young. It starts right now. This is the youngest you're ever going to be. You got to grind for it. Right? And people don't join for perfection. I know I tell people that all the time. Some of y'all are not y'all, y'all not making no money because you're trying to be perfect. And here I am making all the money, and I ain't, I'm not perfect at all. I don't even give a damn about being perfect. Don't even want to learn how to spell. All I want to do is impact people. You think they're going to judge me if I, if I got a degree or not? If I got value, you need to understand how much your personal value is worth is worth more than your degree, your personal value. In hustle, you can't you can't be a degree can't be hustle. Period. So you gotta fucking focus. I'm talking all hundred, all of you, right? Some of you are not focused. Some of you right now while I'm talking, you're still not even focused. I want to help all of you get to 5000 a month residual. Some of you are already making five grand at your job, but it's a different five grand when it comes in when you're not working. And that's my goal for you. So I need y'all to listen, right? Advertise daily. That's a part of the 52. Advertise. Advertise. Zoom calls. Meet new people. Uh, DMing people making YouTube content. And this is how you know what type of videos you need. It's because when you go in the field and you hit up 52 people, you're going to hear all type of stuff. Those are the titles to your videos. Somebody told me the other day, what if Forex crashes? What if it, what if it crashes? Like, how do I know it's recession proof? That's my next video, answering his questions. Somebody said, bro, this is a pyramid. That's my next video, answering their questions. So as I'm going through the 52, by month three, if I do this right, I should have a rebuttal for every single personality. So write this down. This is the mechanic. There's only nine personalities in the world. In the world. That's why when you get certain team members, you, they remind you of someone else. There's only nine personalities. So once you learn those nine personalities, you'll realize, oh, this person, I can't talk to this person about money. This person wants information. Oh, I can't talk to this person about information. This person loves helping people. They don't give a damn about facts. They just say, hey, can I help somebody? Oh, this person don't give a damn about money or helping somebody. They bored at their job. They just want an opportunity to have more life, more fun. 
So once you learn the personality types, it helps your pitch. Because now you're not pitching a shark opportunity to a whale. Now, who on the line can tell me what a shark and a whale is? Who knows that on this line right here? Um, hey, Ted. Okay. okay, go ahead. Okay, well, this is Zinja. So um, a shark is a person, um, is usually a money-motivated person. Um, they want to get to the dollar amount. They want to know how much they, they can make, and they want to know how quickly they can make it. Um, as opposed to a whale who literally just kind of wants to help everybody. Um, so they're motivated by different things. So a whale is, um, I call them yellows or tree huggers. Uh, they just absolutely want to be of service. So that's how I know the difference between a shark and a whale. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now listen, listen. I need y'all to know the fastest way for increase, no matter if you're a shark, whale, dolphin, is gratitude. And that's a part of the mechanics. Every day you wake up, what are you grateful for? Like before we go out and get this money, we gotta be grateful for the little money we have. Before we go out and get a new outfit, we gotta be out for the busted outfit we got now. Before we go out and get a new car, we got to get excited about the car we got right now. Before we go out and get a new house, we got to be excited about the warm blanket we have, right? So what are you grateful for? And see, gratitude will eliminate frustration. Some of you are like, well, I can't stay excited long enough, Chad, to get rich. I'm going to be sad as shit as soon as I hang up this call. Well, if that's you, then you need to figure out how to keep finding gratitude. Because you can't be frustrated and grateful at the same time. Period. So what I'm going to talk about now is I'm shifting, right? I'm shifting. Because there's light. There's light outside. And then there's light inside of me. So I'm about to shift. I'm about to shift. And when I shift, I need you to shift. I need you to take the light from inside of you and broadcast the light that's inside of you or someone else's face. Because that's the mechanic, that's the philosophy. When people look at you, no matter how you look, they should see the light. They should look at you and say, this person's progression. This person is on to something. This person is on their way. This is, wow. This person's a pulse. This, if, if I don't join this person now, I might miss out. That's the thing. So in these last couple minutes, I said, how, much, how, many, how many minutes do I have left? Uh, you have uh, eight minutes. You said eight. You said eight minutes? All right, perfect. So listen. This is what I want to do for the, for the last eight minutes. I want to talk to y'all. I want y'all to see. Don't call me. All right, you guys, I think we lost it for just a quick sec. Uh, I think somebody called them. But if you guys are getting mad value, I just want you to drop a 55 in the chat bar, you guys. This thing is super, super lit. Uh, just so much sauce, you know, uh, from all of our, you know, um, servant leaders in, in, in the nation, you guys. This is super, super, super lit. So just hang tight. We're going to see if we can get Chad back on the line. Also, we got Mr. Akil Bay. Coming up next, going to be giving us some trading sauce. So you guys definitely want to make sure that you have your snacks and you have everything ready. All right, we're back. Hey, are we back? Yes, sir. All right, perfect. So many people keep calling me. Um, sorry for that. 
But um, what, what was the last thing I said? Y'all remember? You said you just had to talk to us for a minute. Yeah, yeah, you should last eight minutes talking to us, Chad. So these, so these last eight minutes, I want to talk to y'all about like just, just, just as a friend now. Right, this is a friend talking to you now. I'll talk to you about mechanics and philosophy as your mentor. Right now, as your friend, somebody who is just like you, probably worse. And now somewhere that you probably might want to experience. You might, right? The first thing I want y'all to, to buy with me on is can we honestly see things before they happen? This is a friend talk. No, no height, none of that. And I want you to think like an architect. Because the architect, they like like I'm driving around Vegas. There's a lot of just dirt everywhere. Dirt, just a lot of land. And me being an architect, a mindset of an architect, seeing things before it happens. I'm looking at this dead land, saying, you know what? I want to build a building. And that's the same thing like you're about to do right now. The philosophy. You're about to go build the biggest building that you've ever built in your entire life right now today. And you get to design it. Right? You got to see, act like it's already done. Because five years from now, you will arrive. This is the thing. You will arrive at the building. Now, here's the part that no one talks about. Will it be a well-designed building or an undesigned destination? Let's think about this. Because if we know it's going to happen for us, because we believe, that's the key to this whole thing. We know our goal is going to happen at the end of 52 weeks. No matter what happens our first 51 weeks, it can all happen for us at the last week. That's what faith is about. The 40 days and 40 nights grind. When, 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 when he said, hey, you got to leave this place and you got to go to this place. There's going to be milk and honey there. It's going to take us 40 days or 40 nights to get there. Some of you are going to die because you don't believe. Some of you are going to turn to uh, dust if you look back. There's a guy named Job or something. He had a wife and a daughter. The Lord, what's his name? Lot. It was Lot. That's right, it was Lot. He had a wife and a daughter. And the Lord said, Lot, I'm going to take you to a different place. Right? You don't see it, but it's in my mind. I just need you to believe, Lot. Lot looked at his wife. His wife said, hell no. We are good right now. You see this house? You see your daughter? Lot look at Jesus. Jesus looked back at Lot. Who you going to listen to, Lot? Your mentor or your stupid wife? Lot said, I'm going with you, Jesus. Guess what happened? He went with them. They walked. His wife and his daughter looked back because they have enough faith and they ass turned to dust. Salt. And the, whatever book you read, there's different books out there. I'm not a preacher. I'm just letting you know that everything we're going through is already written. That's all I'm here for. I'm not here to, 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 to claim to be the best book. You know, the smartest guy in the world, the, the best looking, the, the richest, none of that. I'm just letting you know as a friend what got me through the journey. Because once I realized someone else went through the journey, and thank God that they left a roadmap to tell me it would be hard. And it will be 40 days or 40 nights with some shit I don't know about. But if I have faith, there will be milk and honey on the other place. So what am I saying to you now? You could have been an animal. You could have been an insect, but you are exactly who you are. You are experiencing exactly what you're experiencing right now because of your belief. Now, if you raise your belief, and if you don't know how to believe, then that's why you got to stay with us who knows how to believe. And we put we project our belief on you. So even if you don't know how to believe, you got to have a high level of coachability and 
a high level of teachability. So someone has to be able to coach you and then teach you. And you got to be able to do it. That's what teachability is. You're just not learning. You're actually learning to teach. So if you have that philosophy that everything I learned, I got to take it so serious because I got to teach it, you will show up for class. You will show up for your rescue. You will do the 52 attempts. And guess what you will have? You will have the residual income. You would have whatever you want. You would have seven days of Friday. Right? And let's look at it as the farmer. Why would the farmer put the plow in the ground in the spring? The same about it. Especially if the vision didn't come possible to the summer. Why would he do that? Somebody tell me that on this line. Why would the farmer start like six, seven months early? There's nothing. Just put it, something in the ground and just has enough faith to keep water in it. And then one day something comes out. Why does the farmer do that? Is this reap the harvest in the fall? <laughs> Somebody did it before him. And he knows because it's going to grow. Because he knows it's going to grow. Who said that? Bro? Who said that? Me, Verinda Harper. Don't hey, hey. Let hey, me let you see me. me. I'm driving, but hold on. Here I am, right here. Verinda hey, Harper. Send me, send me your cash app lunch on me today. Thank you. I will definitely do so. Yes, ma'am. Lunch on me today. Because that's Thank exactly you. right. Because he believes it's going to grow. No matter. Look, come here. Come here. Look at this, 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 this dirt pack. Come here. Look at this dirt, right? You don't have nothing. Like, we got to plant the seed. Right? We got to plant the seed. Got to cover it. Got to pat it down. Right? We got to water on it. Right? Water it up. And then we got to have enough faith to come by and follow up. Yes, I see you. I know you're ready. Let's do it again. Follow up. You ready? I know you're ready. Now, here's the key, guys. When you plant your seed, some seeds fall in good ground, some seeds fall in bad ground. You have no worries about the ground. Your only job is to keep planting the seed. The right seed will hit the right ground. And guess what will develop out of that? A leader. Until that happens, you keep planting. We don't, it's not our job to know what the soil is. Our job is for Thank you, Isis, for the opportunity to train your group. I hope y'all got value. I was so, so super excited about the life we are about to live in the next 90 days. And I'll see y'all in abundance and overflow. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. Let's go. Thank you. Y'all oh, oh, like that chat bar up with some yes, yes. Oh. Like, like that chat bar up with some 88s, y'all. That was super lit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. All right. You guys, my notebook is filled. I hope you guys have your notebook filled with notes, you guys. This is the sauce. This is the juice that you need to finish out this year strong. Oh my gosh, so much value. And guess what? We're just getting started. So many more individuals coming on tonight to be able to give us the sauce, to take us to the next level, you guys. Now this next individual uh, that I'm about to bring on, you guys, we got to warm it up. Y'all know what I like to do. Before we bring somebody on, we got to dance, y'all. We got to move. Because let me tell y'all something. Money is energy. It's always moving. That means you got to always be moving. Money likes to come to people with good, positive vibes, right? If you all stale and you all mute, that's probably why money is not coming to you. So let me uh, sauce it up. Let me see what I got on my mix today. But I want to see y'all come off the camera and let's go. Let's see what we got on. Let's the dance. Let's dance, Isis. Here it go. Hold on, y'all. Let me see what we what I got for y'all. Hold on. 
Your beat about to drop, y'all. Your beat about to drop. Here we go. Come off, go ahead, come off the camera. Let's go! Let's go! Let's move it! Let's go! Hey, baby! Let's go! country, keeping our country uh, safe and protect. You guys, he has over 37 months in I Am Mastery. Uh, he's a seven-figure trader, but not only is he a seven-figure trader, he has helped over 30 and still counting individuals make seven-figure trading, okay? He is the chairman 10, Right? With close, wow. to, with close to 10 years experience in network marketing profession. So let me tell you, he knows what he's talking about. So without further ado, do we have Mr. Akil Bay, a.k.a. Mr. John Rick on the lawn? What's happening? 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 And my bad, Mr. John, eight figures, eight figures, eight figures. Hey, I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. I'm getting everything together on my side. I'm in Houston, Texas right now. Just got out of the event, coming right into an event. After this event, going back into another event. So I'm super excited. If y'all excited, put number sevens in the chat. I like sevens. I love sevens. Circle sevens. Circle seven. How many people we got on? How many people we got on? Hey, what what I want y'all to do real quick? Whoever not here that didn't show up, I. Put okay. Okay. Good to go. So anybody, anybody that's not that's not here, that's not here right now, that's on your team, that need to be here, I need you to text them the link right now, tell them to show up right now, because this is what I'm going to talk about. If you want success, you have to show up, point blank, period. I hope you don't have your emotions on your sleeve right now, because I'm going to hit somebody dead in the chest with these words. I love y'all. It's out of love. But to win, you got to show up. You can't play around. You got to show up. I've been doing this profession December 20, December 26th. I'll be 10 years for me, 10 total years. This is, this is what I've been doing for the past 10 years. Have I done other stuff while I was doing this? Absolutely. But I've been doing this, this particular profession for close to 10 years. I done seen so many people come. I done seen so, people, so many people go. I done seen people mess over themselves, mess over others. I done seen the good, the bad, the ugly. But one thing I do know, for those that always win big and become multimillionaires, they show up. 
So text that person, tell them to show up. <clears throat> they need to hear this. I'll give you all about 60 seconds. And while y'all doing that, those that already sent the text, I want y'all to put at the title list to show up. Show up. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy and grateful now each and every one of y'all that show, showed up. Oh, we shout out to all the other leaders that jumped on and that did their thing. Our, our mentors, our, our partners, our sideline partners, and so many others. I, I'm, I'm so happy and grateful now just to be alive right now in this particular time of the world. And there's going to be so many other times of the world that's going to be worse than what we are now. So we have to be happy and grateful just to experience and experience it to share with others. Okay. 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 Y'all ready? ready? Put number seven in the chat if you're ready. Put number seven in the chat if y'all ready. Okay, let's go. I'm outside, y'all. I hope y'all feeling good. I hope y'all feeling great. Hope y'all feeling great. I just got out of a meeting with a room full of real estate agents and entrepreneurs. It's the same exact building. Uh, the boss hall work. Uh, his office is in. Uh, we talked to talked to him on on video conference on the phones. So look out for boss hall. We're gonna be. Don't keep that private. But boss hall. CT boss hall gonna probably be joining us as well with Trade Nation. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, to bring more prestige to our team, but showing up is important. Uh, and I, 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 I was gonna talk about something else, but I had to talk about that because that's what just happened. Like I came all the way to Houston, flew to Houston, right? And I came to the meeting. A few people showed up yesterday. About five people, five people, five people showed up. Now I paid like three hundred dollars for a flight, three hundred, about four hundred dollars for a flight, right? Uber and all that. I got the fly back, got to eat while I'm here. So I paid about five hundred dollars. So that's a hundred dollars per person, not to add the hours of time and all the extra money I got to spend on top of that, on top of that, okay? But people got to show up. Is, is that good timing? Is that, is, that, is that good for you? Is that worth it? Yes, it is, because those people that showed up, they got a wealth of knowledge, and I, they got the information simplified for them, so they can use that information and get to where they're trying to go, right? But the people that didn't show up, those are going to be the same people that get on calls, oh, I don't understand what a PIP is. Oh, I don't understand what support and resistance is. Oh, I don't under. They have all these simple questions that they can find in their actual back office, but you have a person that flies all the way to a particular place, all the way across the country, and only a few people show up, and those are the people that's going to have success. And then all the rest of the people, what we call the 80%, those 80% going to try to figure out why the only the 20% actually got the results, it's because the 20% always show up. So if, you, if you're going to show up, I need to see show up in the box put show up in the chat box that's the first thing you got to show up you got to commit to you don't commit to me commit to yourself for showing up on everything i don't care if it's a conference call i don't care if it's a one-on-one -on -one. i don't care if it's a sunday night call i don't care if it's a team call you need to show up to every single call that happens every single event that happens because if you don't show up you're gonna miss that small little detail that you need to get to success what you want to complete the why that you want if you don't show up if you put everything else some people put their why in front of them showing up. So they use their why for an excuse not to show up. You need to show up, point blank period. If you don't show up, prepare to fail. Matter of fact, quit now. Quit now. I don't care because the people that show up, those are the people that I care about because they show up because they take this just as important as I take it and all the other people that show up take it. And that's why it's only a certain amount of people that always succeed because those are the people that show up for everything, everything as much as they can. You, they be on one Zoom, some of y'all to show up, y'all see other people on Zooms, they be like, damn, they on that Zoom too? Damn, they on that Zoom too? She on that Zoom too? And I just saw her on three different Zooms in one day and they on that Zoom? Oh man, right? These are the people when the world open back up, you're gonna start seeing these people traveling everywhere. You're gonna see them in all types of places, all different parts of the country, all different parts of the world. Damn, they everywhere. But those are the same people that's gonna end up in front of the stage, on top of the stage, on top of the stage, not on the stage, on top of the stage, teaching everybody else the same particular little uh, 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 details so they can understand what they need to do. But it all started from them showing up.
who feeling a certain way right now? Who's like, damn, I, I ain't showing up. That's why I ain't got success. Who thinking right now, how many times have I shown up? Who thinking right now, how many times I've been made an excuse because I just was tired. I needed a nap. What if I would have said, you know what, ISIS, listen, I'm in Houston. I just got to finish with the event. I got another event about 30 minutes. I ain't got time to do this. I, 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 I apologize. I just can't do it. I wouldn't have shown up. But I'm dedicated. Remember the four agreements? Stay true to your word. The four agreements. Y'all, if y'all ain't got that book, that's a hint. Get the book. It's the four agreements. That's one of the four agreements. You have to, you have to keep your word. And the first person you want to keep the word, your word to is yourself. You said you wanted to learn how to train. You said you wanted to be a chairman or a chairwoman. You said you wanted to be able to take care of your family, your children, your loved ones. You wanted to be able to feed the world. You wanted to give the world. You wanted to help the world. High vibration. But you ain't even showing up for yourself. Are you on a high fiber vibration? Are you helping yourself? Because if you ain't helping yourself, you can't help no one else. That's why that quote came along. Help self because self-help can help you help someone else. Well, if you ain't willing to follow your own command, you ain't going to be able to help nobody else because ain't nobody else going to listen to what you got to say. And if you get on here saying stuff, lying to folk, they going to, sooner or later, they're going to feel, they're going to find out that you're BS, AKA you're bullshit. Not them, you're bullshitting yourself. So why should I listen to you? They're going to find somebody else to listen to. They're going to end up quitting your team and then they're going to wait for about six months and they're going to join somebody else's team that show up. You can't be mad at nobody but yourself. Facts are facts. Put facts in the chat box if that's facts. Somebody getting mad right now. I don't care. You need to be mad. Be mad at yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror. Because I'm saying this out of love. Because I want you to win. I just want you to win. I want everybody here to win. But you have to show up. You have to show up. You have to think about it. What if, what if LeBron James never showed up to the games? While he's in the game, he never showed up. He never really showed up to play. He showed up there, but he just jogging down the court. Ain't getting no rebounds. Ain't passing the ball. Ain't even shooting. Ain't playing no defense. Ain't running the plays. You have to show up on every single aspect of what we do. If they say the PS3, run the play. Show up. Run the play. Play your position. Right? If they say do the three-way call because you a leader, no, show you a leader, play your, show position. play your position. If you turn around and you have to do the presentation, don't be scared. Show up and do the presentation. If you have to do the training call, show up and do the training call. Just show up. Because the leader that, that's asking you to do it, they probably see something in you or they want to partner with you because they see that you bring bringing value to the marketplace and to the team and to the family so that you can help not just everybody else, but yourself to be, become a better leader than what you are currently. Show up. It's so easy just to show up. You know the hard part? Showing up because it's easier not to. <laughs> Who all was tired today? I was tired today. I ain't go to sleep till about three o'clock in the morning. I had to wake up at eight. I was I was tired. I'm tired now. That's why I'm drinking coffee. I just want to go back to the room and go to sleep. But I got like five, six, seven more hours of training I got to do. But I got to show up because people depending on me, just like people depending on you. You got people that's not even a part of this business right now that's depending on you. People that's not even born yet is depending on you and you don't even know it. Depending on how long, how long you in this profession for. Let me ask somebody right now, 10 years ago, how old was you? Put your age, put your age in the chat box. 10 years ago, how old were you? 30, 30, 20, 12, 40. Okay, if you was under the 
the age, if you was under the age of 18, I was told that somebody that wasn't old enough to get in this profession would be listening to me 10 years from now, and I will be empowering them to get some information that they need so they can succeed. They said what they said was true. So if you was under 18, 10 years ago, everything they told me 10 years ago is in reality today. So it's all fact. So what I'm telling you right now is the same thing they told me 10 years ago. Forget 52 weeks, try 10 years. I can guarantee you in this profession for 10 years, you will be a multimillionaire if you do the necessary things that you need to do. And that's starting with showing up. <laughs> ain't that simple? Ain't that, ain't that, that's like the simplest thing. You showed up, you show up for work, don't you? Because you want that paycheck. You show up over that 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 that, that female house because you want more than the paycheck. You want a little bit of what we call it, uh, toe tickling. You want some toe tickling going on, huh? Ladies, y'all show up over that man house because you want some toe tickling going up. You show up, you show up for that. Right? You show up at the club, show up at the liquor store, show up at the weed spot, need some weed, show up in Vegas. <laughs> you show up in Vegas to go to the dispensary, show up in Cali to go to the dispensary, to Detroit to go to the dispensary. You show up for all these other things except for the wealth that you deserve, that your family deserve. We got to change the way we thinking. We got to change the way, the outlooks that we have in life. What's more important to you? The right now, the right now or the future? The right now or the future? Let me tell y'all something. When it comes to business, businesses, this is the most prestigious, the most fundamentally sound, simplest, wealthiest business in the world. $235 to get into a $6.6 .6 trillion a day business. The problem with some of people is they treat it like it's only $236. This is $6.6 .6 trillion a day market. So that's the business. You have to treat it as such. What if you paid $6.6 .6 to get in the business? When you show up, you probably show up. You'll be, you would never leave. You're treating it like it's $235. $175 a month. Oh, that ain't nothing. I, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I'm in this little thing. You know, I'm doing a little trade. A little trade? You doing a little trade? Oh, I'm, just, I'm just building this little team. I'm doing a little something, something, you know? No, this is huge. The biggest. Stop treating it like a $235 business, $175 business a month. Like if, you know, the, every system that's created to help you build your business is designed for a particular reason. It's designed to, 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 to not only help you grow your business, but it's designed to teach you how to run a multi-million dollar corporation. Like when we say PS3, you closing people by yourself. What if you own the, what if me and you own the McDonald's franchise? Me and you own the McDonald's franchise. And I said, hey, I got us a new business partner. He's going to come in and, or she's going to come in and she's part of, and I hadn't talked to you about this person. I hadn't introduced you to the, now we paid $500,000 a piece for this business. And then I just bought somebody else in another investor and they bought about our franchise. Would, would that piss you off? Would that piss you off? Because you don't know that person. You ain't talk to that person. I just brought somebody in. No, that's why we got the PS3. We need to talk to these people. They need, we need to know they on point. We need to know they willing to follow the system. We just not going to bring in just anybody. Because if we bring in just anybody, that anybody can be have their own intentions and mess up everything. Then if they get in and they start doing it the same way you do it, they start messing up the system because once they do start doing, they came in, they start doing it the same way they came in. That's all the way out the system. Then it turns into a $235 thing. We just gonna sign people up. Ain't nobody gonna learn how to trade. Ain't nobody gonna go through their academy. Everybody ain't gonna plug in, ain't gonna show up, AKA. Ain't gonna show up because they think they know exactly what to do. Oh, it's just $235, sign up. That mess up the whole, this mess up the whole system. I remember when we first started. <laughs> I remember when we first started. 30, 30, 38, 37, 38 months ago. We had an idea. 
we had an idea on how we was gonna do it. We had an idea. Chad still on the phone? CT still on the phone? CC still on the phone? He's still here? Oh, he had to jump off. Yeah, because he had to show up. Bro, still on? Somebody let me know if he's still on. Uh, no, Akil, he's not on. Say again? He's not on. I can't hear you. No, he, he's not on. Okay, he had to show up somewhere. So when we first started, the goal was like everybody get in and then we everybody going to build their own team with their own brand, right? That was the idea. We quickly realized that didn't work because everybody that got in started their own team and nobody followed one particular system. So it grew fast, but it fell apart real quick. It grew fast, but it fell apart real quick. It's about real quick, real quick. So we like, okay, we have to follow a particular system. Once you get to a certain rank, then you start a particular team because what happens is if you got a group of people coming together and everybody follows the system, then you, this, this group of people, they grow into a certain amount of group of people. Now that one particular person can start their team and then that big team can help promote that particular brand for that one person. Then as it starts growing, each individual can grow a team and everybody is getting help building their brand ultimately building the full brand following one system. This is the issue, $235 to get started, $175 a month, I get in. Oh, Generation 12, boom, okay, I like Generation 12. I got to come up with my own team name. And they just got in first day, yeah, yeah, I'm uh, 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 Pip. Pit masters, boom! I'm, yeah, my brand pit master. You, there's only one person in there. Yeah, I'm the pit master. They ain't even went through the academy. They ain't made. They ain't. They ain't. They ain't did no trading. They. They. They don't know what support and resistance is. They don't even know how to put in the trade. They don't even know how to copy and paste. Yeah, copy and paste. Harmonic scan scanner, copy and paste. Yeah, copy and paste. But do you know what type of trade you're gonna put in for the copy and paste? Is it a buy limit or a sell limit? Uh oh, buy limit or sell limit. Do you put those numbers at? Do you know where to put the stop loss, take profit? Do you know how to? No, but you got the pit masters. Slow down, show up, learn something, get some results. So you can talk to some people, but when you talk to those people, bring them back to generation 12, to bring them back to the, to the brand that's being branded right at this particular time. But you don't know this because you don't show up. Just think about it. Watch, I guarantee you, I guarantee you right now, I guarantee you right now, I guarantee you right now, somebody's gonna come to, to on, on the Zoom next week or somebody's gonna text you and call you next week because they just show up to this and they're gonna ask you a question that was answered right here, that was told to you right here today. Somebody next week that was already in, probably longer than you, gonna come in or just as long, gonna come back next week and ask you a question because they did not show up. Now you got to ask yourself, now you got to ask yourself, is it their fault, 100% of their fault? Or is it 100% of their fault and 100% of our fault? Because yes, you showed up, but now you have to get into the mindset of, am I promoting the right way? Am, am, am I being the mentor? Am, is that my friend or is that, listen, I'm not here to be nobody's friend. I'm not, listen, I want y'all to be, I want to be clear with everybody. I'm not here to be nobody's friend. I'm here to be your mentor. In the process of me being your mentor, in the process of me helping you along the way, we will, we will become more than friends. We will become family. But when we first start, no, I'm not your friend. I'm your mentor because you have goals and I'm trying to help you get to your goals. If your friends was going to help you get your goals, you already be rich. So no, I'm not here to be your friend. I'm here to be your mentor to help you along the way to get you to your goals. Once you get to your goals and while you're getting to your goals, yes, we're going to be family. Do I, do I want you to succeed? Absolutely. Do I have love for you? Absolutely. But am I your friend? And that, word, that word is used too much. As we grow, as we build, as we move forth, yes, I will be your friend. Actually, I'll be your family. But first and foremost, I have to be your mentor. So we have to start thinking like this. Uh, uh, 
do I use the right words and am I setting the expectations right for the new individuals that's coming in so they can actually listen to what I'm telling them or I can say the right thing so they can listen to the person that's teaching me so they can get to the right places and they can show up too. So we can't blame the new people for not showing up. We have to take some of that blame as well. We have to take responsibilities. Leaders take responsibility. Now I'm not gonna take all responsibility because another person got to do, but I got to ensure that I'm doing what I need to do so other people can, can, can follow, the, follow along the path of all the other leaders. I know it can get uncomfortable. Some somebody on here right now, like, bro, kill going hard. Bro, I don't like a kill, a kill asshole. I don't care. I'm telling you what's gonna make you a millionaire. Like it's either you wanna be a millionaire or you wanna call me an asshole. It's either or. It's either or. If I'm an asshole, put a number one. If you wanna be a millionaire, put number two. You can't put both. <laughs> put it in the chat. <laughs> you can't put both. Right? The asshole is the person that's calling you a scam. The asshole is the person that's not following the directions, not showing up. The asshole is the person that thinks they know every damn thing and don't listen, not teachable and coachable, not willing to change. Them the assholes. It's not my fault. Because I'm giving you, you got to think like this. I'm giving you everything that you need to succeed. It's up to you just to show up. I'm giving you the keys to open up the door to the vault of unlimited access. Not money, unlimited access. It's the difference between unlimited money and unlimited access. But you want to have unlimited asshole-ish. That's a no-no. That's a no-no. That's a no-no. That's a no-no. So you have to show up. You must, you must show up. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't take nothing personal. Hey, that's, that's, that's in the book too, four agreements. You can't take nothing personal, right? So you got two of the four agreements, right? What's, what's the two I said? Let's see who's paying attention. Be impeccable with your words and don't take anything personal. Sheesh. I think that was. I think those are the major two. If I think if you get those two, everything else fall in place. Do you agree? Do y'all agree? If you do those two things, everything else will fall in place. If you don't take nothing personal, and you be impeccable with your words, yes. everything else will fall in place. Because don't know that nothing else matter. Because I'm not going to say something that I'm not going to do. And if you say something that you didn't do, it don't, I don't worry about it. All I am is focused on showing up, getting the information, taking that information, applying that information. Once I apply that information, I get the results, and I can continue on that cycle. And everything works out the way it's supposed to work out. I'm so happy and grateful now. Let me get a sip of coffee. If y'all still with me, put a number three in the chat box. I hope I'm not putting nobody to sleep if I am. I hope I'm hoping you're dreaming about showing up and not being an asshole. I'm hoping you're hearing me in your subconscious mind saying, "Go to sleep, go to sleep, <laughs> sleep well." <laughs> Wake up and get to work and show up. So. I want y'all to write down the reason why. I know y'all. I know y'all hear this a lot, but that's the only way. That's the only real, true thing that's gonna help you show up day after day, night after night, working until you working until you pass out. Like if you're not working until you pass out, you're not working. If you work until you get tired, you're not working. You got to work until you just pass out. Literally, you got to work until you pass out. Some of you all have jobs. Then you get off jobs, you get tired, you go to sleep. You don't even pull up your academy. You don't make no phone calls. You don't do nothing. You don't jump on no calls. You don't do nothing. Some of you all do, right? But you want to write down your reason why. Really write it down. Really tap into your reason why. Like, tap into it. Like, your reason why should really, 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 really 
really be a, a true emo every time you really think about being able to accomplish that reason why your eyes should get, really get watery. And if you're not a crier, you should feel a certain, a real tank tingle within your body saying, I need to make this happen. I can't wait. I'm so happy and grateful. Now I'm, I'm even in a position to make this happen. If you don't write that, if you, if you can't find that reason why, it's going to be hard for you to go through any process of having any type of success in anything. You really have to have a reason why, because it's going to get tough. It's going to get hard. It's going to get challenging. You're going to be put in positions where you're going to have to choose. And it's going to be some hard decisions. You're going to have to choose. But if you don't have nothing in the place to, 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 to challenge what you feel like you have to do to what you need to do, what you feel like you have to do or forced to do, is going to always override the other reason. That should be your reason why. But your reason why should always win. Should always win. Like, one of my reasons why I can't work for no damn job. I just can't. I, when, I got out of high, when I got out of high school in, 19, in 1998, I graduated in 1998. When I got out of high school, I was making $17 and like 50-some cent an hour. People ain't even getting paid that now. That's considered a good job now. I was getting paid that back in 1998. Think about that. I was getting paid $17 an hour in 1998. And some people don't get paid that now. A $15 job, some people consider good, good money. The economy, the cost of living has went up. It's called inflation. Up to this point, that's 20 years ago. People still consider that good money now. Like, and then it wasn't the money because back then I was young. I thought that was good money because I had never made money before. But I quickly realized when I got into the job world out of high school, I truly realized real quick that that's grown, that's grown folks' daycare. These, I thought I was out of high school. Why are people still talking about people at work? Like, y'all supposed to be grown. Then I started seeing old people that was like 50, 60 years old had been working at the mill 30 years. And they was old, gray hair, missing teeth, driving raggedy cars. I'm like, what y'all been hold up? This ain't what I want to do. I don't want that lifestyle. And I know if you've been here 30 years, I'm going to end up just like you. I found, didn't nobody have to tell me that. I use common sense. I'm like, no, uh-uh, mm-mm. Then the manager started talking crazy to me. Y'all don't even, this is real, this is real life talk. This is real life stories, right? It was one time I was working, then a manager called me down. I'm doing my job. I'm not bothering nobody. I'm doing my job, right? Manager called me down, started cursing me out. Y'all know what I told that man? I told him in his office. This is a grown man. He had been in the army. I didn't know nothing. I was young. But I told this man, man, I'll kill your motherfucking ass in his office. And guess what? They took me off the job. They said I was stressed out. Lucky enough, I was in the union. They took me off the job. Boom. Now I'm getting paid, not even working. Yeah, I had to go to some classes. They had tried to put me on this medication called Prozac. I wasn't taking that med. I took it for a little while, but I was like, no, nah, this thing making me slow. And my mother, my mother, my mother-in-law at the time was like, no, nah, don't take that stuff no more. It's making you slow. Right. I stopped working. I realized from that point, I'm like, man, I can't work for no damn body. I like, I just can't. Do some of you, let me see. If you ever if you ever went through your manager cursing you out, I was raising their voices you at you at your job, like you a child, type a number one in the chat box. If a manager or a supervisor ever hollered at you or cursed at you like you a child. See all these ones? So I, it still goes on today. You're not a child. That should be, that should be a good enough reason why. Ain't no, ain't no grown person finna holler at me and scream and curse me out because I'm a grown just like you. And I don't have to sit here and take that from you just to make uh, less than $17 an hour. That should be a you grown. That should be a that should be more than a that should be more than enough reason why. Right there. You grown. You're not a child. But move on. Had a few different jobs. You know what taught me don't take nothing personal? Before, before the actual book I read. Four agreements. It was a Marine Corps. Because Marine Corps, they'll curse you out. They'll fight you. They'll beat your ass. They'll do what's called the tree line. 
they'll take you to the tree line. Once the tree line is over with, they'll turn around, they'll take you to the bar, laugh, drink, have fun, talk shit, go back to work, good friends the next day. <laughs> that, was the, that was just the way. So I learned real quick, we can't take nothing personal. Hey, take off them chevrons, fight it out, whoever win, win, boom, put the chevrons back on, show everybody respect from that point on, have fun, battle buddy. Some people take some small stuff so offensive so quickly. And most of the time, the people that take that small stuff and all that stuff offensively real quick are the people that's broke. Mentally, spiritually, financially, and physically. They broke on all aspects of life. You don't want to be that person. Well, I say you shouldn't want to be that person. All right, since how many more minutes I got? Because I keep on going. I don't even know how long I got. I just I just feel like in the moment right now. All right, how long do I got? All right. You got um 15 more minutes. Good to go. 15 more minutes. So you have to you have to ask yourself the reason why. And you need to write down that reason why. Really, it should be, it should be, it should be within you. Like you should get real passionate about that reason why. Very passionate about that reason why. Now, from that reason why, from that reason why, now you got to do three things. Three things, okay, three things. First, you wanna make the decision. You wanna make the decision to never give up on your why. You wanna make that decision to go out and do whatever you have to do to make it happen. You wanna make that decision that you're gonna learn how to trade. You gotta make that decision on, you know, building that big organization to become a, 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 a chairman or a chairwoman. You have to make a decision to be that multi-million dollar earner on all aspects. You have to make the decision to take that money, invest it into those things outside of this platform to empower others or to build businesses in different brands. You have to make a decision. Just because you joined doesn't, made, doesn't, doesn't say you made a decision. Just because you paid your $235 doesn't mean you made a decision you're gonna win just because you paid $235. That don't mean you gon' that don't mean you gonna automatically just gonna come to you like you in a matrix, it's gonna download, you sit in the chair, it's gonna download into your brain like that, like three seconds. That it just don't work like that. You gotta put in some work. But the work part is the part that people's decisions ain't strong enough to keep on going. It's almost like this. I always tell y'all about Nate the Great. If you don't know about Nate the Great, Nate the Great came in 90 days, he came in 90 days. He turned three to four hundred dollars into seven figures in 90 days. Everybody, I say, who want to do that? Everybody raise their hand. Everybody do this. Everybody say me, 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 me. But then I say, well, Nate the Great put in 12 to 16 hours every single day for 90 days straight. Are you willing to do it? No, I can't do that. No, 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 no. I'm okay. I'm okay. No, 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 I can't do that. No, 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 I can't do that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I want the million, but I can't put it in that work. Everybody, everybody want to go to heaven. Nobody want to die. Everybody, everybody want to eat. Nobody want to cook. Everybody want to be the leader, but nobody want to be the follower. Everybody want to win a championship. Nobody want to play their position. Everybody want to be a chairman, but they do not respect P-150. Everybody wants success, but they want the money first. No, money comes after the success. Success, get this, success is just a byproduct. Money is a byproduct of success. Write that down. Money is a byproduct of success. Once again, money is the byproduct of success. Have you, see, whatever you put out to do, if you accomplish it, that's success. And then everything else comes after that that comes with that success. So if you want to learn how to trade, you become a great trader first. Then the byproduct of you being a great trader is the money. It's almost like this. Have you ever heard, have you ever said, hey, I want to, I, I want to, um, I want to be a great rapper. Put me on the stage. But you ain't never practiced rapping. Uh, I want, I want you in the wilderness. I want heat. Uh, I want heat, but you haven't created a fire. Stop putting the carriage before the horse. Mm. 
Y'all hear that? Stop putting the carriage before the her. Make a decision. That's one. Number two, commit to the decision. Oh, Lord. You made a decision. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. Man, the kill killed the, killed the car. Man, Chad killed the car. Man, ISIS killed the car. Man, Riyadh killed the car. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Time to get to work. Oh, man. I, you know, I ain't, feeling, I ain't feeling that good. Man, I heard him say, show up. Man, you show up. You ain't committed. You got no commitment. You know, that's what I call jellybacks. Oh, jellyback ass. <laughs> oh, jellyback. Going back on your word to yourself. You got to commit. You got to go, you got to commit to the decision that you made. If you don't commit to the decision you made, why even make the decision? Why lie to yourself? Why go through all of that ups and downs, that roller coaster ride? Commit. Commit. And why wouldn't you, like, why wouldn't you commit? Oh, because you don't have a reason why, a real reason why. You'd be asking yourself, why? how did this person get in and they was excited then and then four months later or three months later or a week later or a day later, they just quit? Well, let me, let me explain something to you. The person that take a long time to make a decision usually change their mind quick. And the person that make their mind up quick usually take a long time to change their mind. Have you ever had somebody get into your business, took them a long time to get in, and then as soon as they get in, they quit the next day? That's why. You ever seen somebody get in the same day and then they, they, they here for the long haul? That's why. It's the way we think. It's the thing, things we move. It's the information we get. But it goes all the way back to the beginning. People to get the information show up. People that show up usually have the success. People with the success usually have the money. Y'all see how all this, y'all see how all this connect and works together? This is just straight out facts. This is straight out connected. Everything that we do is connected. So you have to make the commitment. Without the commitment, you're wasting your time. Quit. Now, get out the way. Let us work with some people that's ready to run. Ready to work on, like, let's work with some people that's ready, like, like we, we, we don't want to work with nobody that's BSing. You wasting our time, you wasting your time, and you wasting our time, you wasting the team time. You in the way. Move out the way. Go sit on the bench. Matter of fact, go sit in the stands, in the, in the nosebleeds, up there at the top, and watch. You don't even have to cheer. Just watch. From the, Matter of fact, go home and watch on TV. We don't even want you in the stadium. That's just how we move. That's, 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 that's what we do. Right? And I'm saying this out of love. Remember, don't take anything personal. Then the last one. The last one. All out massive action. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you made a decision. Okay, you committed to the decision. Now you got to get to work. You notice the first two things are the mind, the mental part. You know, our mentor, Mr. David and Monique T.H. Ed, Rhea Jones, all of these individuals that's that's having the success, I always say the mental is 90 to 99% and the work is only 10 to 1%. Well, now you have to actually do the work. The work is the all out massive action. You have to do everything in your power to make sure that you're following the rules, following the system, doing the PS3, getting into the actual market, following the different strategies. Do it to a T. Don't stop because it didn't work one time. I see that so many times. Oh, this strategy, I'm, I'm so excited about this strategy. This strategy works, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna be a millionaire off this strategy, blah, 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 blah. And, and they've been winning and then they lose one time. Oh, this strategy don't work. They scamming us, this thing don't work. Let me go find something else. I'm gonna go find something else. Oh, yeah, and then they excited about this new strategy. Oh, this strategy works. blah, 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 blah. I remember when we first started, we had the sauce. David Lewis, we had the sauce, right? And the sauce was the strategy. 99.2% accurate, and it's still to be true. It's still real, it still work. It still work. I still use it. Every once in a while, I still use it. It still works. But ain't nobody else talking about it because they looking for the next best thing because it didn't work for them one time and they gave up on it because they wasn't committed to it. They didn't make a decision to actually do it and they didn't do an all out massive action for it. The same thing gonna happen to the uh, 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 ketchup and mustard about a year now. Watch. Everybody excited about it now. It works, it works, it works. And it's gonna continue to work. But in the future, 
People gonna find out about something else and they gonna run to that. Oh, this, 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 this. Ah, we finna make a million. Ah. It all works. You just gotta be all out massive action to it. If you're not, then you're gonna be running in circles, getting tired, and end up passing out in the middle of the ground, in the middle of the circle. You're gonna run circles around in the dirt so much, you're gonna create. A, a, a hill and valley around in the middle of the circle, in the middle of the ground, and you're gonna pass out right in the top of the circle. Ain't nobody gonna end up being able to come get you. It's gonna be a pit. You're gonna run a circle. You're gonna create a pit, a six foot pit ditch. You gonna that's how much you're gonna be running around in the circle. Then you're gonna fall out right in the middle of the pit, and ain't nobody gonna be able to come get you, pull you up, and pull you out. Do not overwhelm yourself. Find something that works for you and stick with it. All out massive action. If, you, if you're building a team, make your list, call your list, create and find more people. Every single day you need to be talking to somebody, somebody new, peaking interest, PS3, sharing information, three-way call over and over again, over and over again. It should get to the point where you don't even have time to talk to people because all the people you talk to end up end up calling you. So you too busy talking to people you peaked in the past, filling your line up and filling your team up with those people in the past. So by the time you do get back to calling people, you a chairwoman or chairman. This is how it works. So commit, show up. First of all, you want to show up, show up. You got to show up first. Second of all, write your reason why. Write your reason why, right? After you write your reason why, the only way you're going to be able to do it, you got to make the decision, commit the decision, and all out massive action. You, you put those things in order, you put those things in order, it's almost impossible to lose. It really is impossible to lose. You keep those things in your mind, your heart, your spirit, your soul, your vision, your path, you have all the success you want. I'm so happy and grateful now that you ISIS gave me the chance to, you know, invited me to speak and share some, some things that help each and every person that's on this line to show up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you so let's much, Akil. Hey, drop his favorite number in the chat focus. bar. We all focus. Can, we, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, we all fo we all focus. We all know where we want to go. We all have our particular reasons why working on our independent, our independent goals, focusing and helping each other get to the full team goal for creating multiple seven-figure traders, not just being the, 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 the top trading group within I Am Mastery Academy, but the top trading group within the world, this planet Earth, where this legacy will live on forever. So with that said, peace, love, and freedom. Whoa, let's go, 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 I feel so sorry for somebody that did not get on this call, you guys, because what he spoke was the truth. If you don't show up, you're not going to get results. If we had to individually text you to get you on this call, and we know that we've been talking about this call for about three weeks now, you already knew it started at 12, and you just now getting on here, what is going on, you guys? You have to show up. And just like he said, some of the that's coming in here late, it's gonna be the same people asking simple questions. Simple questions, you guys. Can everybody hear me? Yes, we hear you. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, uh, asking simple questions. So it's so important that you show up. What you put into this, that's what you're going to get back. So just like he said, if you're wondering why your trading account is looking the same, if you're wondering why you haven't hit two two and three yet or platinum 150 you have to ask yourself are you showing up are you doing the studying 
to build the business is a skill set, you guys. It takes a skill set to do this. So I hope you guys took tons of notes. Like I said, my notebook is full. Money makers are note takers, you guys. So check this out. I've just been told that my music hasn't been even working the whole time, but you guys still been rocking and rolling with me on acapella, right? Just off of my movements, that's super lit. But I wanna make sure the music is working for this individual that I'm about to bring on next, you guys. Cause it's about to be a movie. That's all I'm gonna say. It's about to be a movie, you guys. And he has a special request for a song that he wants to hear. So you guys, this person I'm about to bring on, he's about to finish it off. He's our last speaker. So I suggest that we get some more people on this call. We're at about 135. Let's see if we can get it to about 160, you guys. Really hone in, hit your people up individual, one person by one person, because you guys don't want to miss it. This is an elite type of year. We're about to finish this year out strong on that elite pack. So without further ado, let me get this music going before I bring on our next person. Let me know if y'all hear this music or not. Loud and clear, we got you. Hey, let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, let's go! Come off the camera! Let's get it, y'all! Let's get it! Let's get it! Come on! Half time, baby! Let's go! Hey! Let's go! Let's go! about to bring on man I respect this dude man he started off I think I started off a little bit um after he already got in and just to see this guy's determination how consistent he has been how persistent he has been you know always willing right I came down to San Diego I said you know what Gio right I'm about to bring him on I said you know I'm coming down to San Diego man I just gotta touch you I just got to be around you. I got to get this sauce. And he was more than welcome to uh, open me up into his penthouse, him and anointed, and share love with me, guys. He's one of the top recruiters in Trade Nation, right? Over 400 signups. 
I'm right behind you, Gio, at 160, baby. 400 signups, right? He won $10,000 from the last promotion in the company, right? Because he signed up the most personal people with 70, uh, 76 personal signups in one freaking month. His team is over a thousand people, all active, and he's just a choo. Get your corona mask, sneeze away from C25, right? He personally popped one of the youngest chairmen, Mr. JVL, right? And he's from Chicago and he's currently resigning in San Diego. And he's about to give us the Y Elite over platinum starter pack mr geo it's the movie crypto mccoy let's go hey hey what's going on isis love can you hear me okay yes loud and clear geo loud and clear awesome awesome good stuff man first off i just want to say can we just drop some big bombs can we get some bomb emojis and just blow up the chat box for Miss Isis Love for putting together a phenomenal training, a phenomenal Saturday, and a great way to start off your August, to start this month off. We're blowing it up off the rip, so drop some bombs in the chat box, all right? Bombs in the chat, bombs in the chat, let's go. All right, all right, all right. Perfect, perfect. So, um, let me see, am I able to become host? Is that, is that a uh, thing? Can, can I become host? Yeah, you should be able to share your screen. All right. I don't know if I can if I'm not host, but I will try to in a second. But perfect. Uh, for those who don't know who I am, uh, my name is George Millionaire McCoy. I'm one of the top leaders here with our investment group, guys. I've been doing this now. Uh, next month will be three years. I'm a chairman in the organization. Uh, I've had a lot of success, been able to help a lot of other people have success as well. Um, and I just want to go ahead and at this time, just give it back to you guys for even being on a training like this on a Saturday, right? Everybody can be doing so many other things, but you're actually here showing up, uh, during a training. Perfect. So with that being said, I want to go ahead and get right into it. Obviously, you know, uh, building is my strong suit. So I definitely want to give, you know, you guys some gems when it comes to building the business at a high level, all right? We're having a lot of momentum right now as a company. The company has an overall goal. You might want to write this down. The company has an overall goal, all right? And that goal is a thousand chairmen, a thousand educators, all right? A thousand chairmen and a thousand educators. So right now the company is a little bit above 400 chairmen. You got to understand they're vigorously pushing and doing everything in their power to help create 600 more chairmen, all right? And they want over 800 more educators. So we're going to have to have a lot of people who are learning the skill of trading and really get it to the point where they're making consistent withdrawals and they have a group of people that's making consistent withdrawals as well. We're going to need those educators. Somebody has to win through the trades. All right, somebody has to win. All right, so boom. If it is possible, can you make me a host so I can like keep the lines muted? I just like to have that control if that's possible. Um, I'll make you a host right back once we're done. But um, we also have a goal of a thousand chairs. Now, what that's going to do is take I Am Mastery Academy to a billion dollar company. All right, there we go. Perfect. We're going to take the company to a billion dollar company. And that, that's like going to happen. I remember when they had a goal, all right, of creating 200 chairmen. And my mentor, David E. Monitier, was saying that all the time, 200 chairmen, 200 chairmen, 200 chairmen, all right? Way before it was even 100 chairmen, way before it was even 40 chairmen, right? They put a goal out there of 200 chairmen in the year of 2019, and they was able to make it happen. Well over, well over 200 chairmen in the company right now. So now they have a new goal of a thousand chairmen in the company by the end of 2020. That means it's going to be a lot of momentum, a lot of massive opportunity for different people to take place because somebody got to fill those seats. 
All right, their, their visions, their goals usually become reality. It usually come to pass, right? So you got to understand if you're dealing with leadership, like Mr. David E. Monitier, leadership like Chad Thompson, leadership like Riyad Jones, right? Like Isis Love, right? Like Akil Bay, who just did a phenomenal training, right? Right before I hopped on here. If we're dealing with this type of leadership, and the leadership is hard and tax serious about making that vision happen then this is your opportunity to fill up one of those seats. We need 600 more chairmen. Guys, it's, it's over 150 people on the call right now. Somebody got to fill those seats. All right, so I really want to get into a training that I feel like would definitely help you be able to build some long-lasting momentum in your business, and that'll be able to help you take your business to a chairman level. So before I start, if it's all right if I talk chairman talk, right? I asked Isis before we got on here, hey, is this, is this like a call where I got to like, you know, water it down and, you know, keep it, keep it on the hush. We can't put the, the secrets out there for the masses, right? Is this one of those type of calls or is this family only? Is this people that we seriously want to see get to that next level, get to that bag, all right? Get to that bag, be able to hit your goals, be able to get the income to start that other business, right? Be able to do the things that you really want to do, get that time freedom back. If, if, if this is the people that we're focusing on, then I'll come on and, you know, give out some personal gems. And she said, this is absolutely that type of conversation. So I'm about to give you guys what I got for the next, like, uh, 24 minutes. I'm not going to be long, but I will be very strong. Definitely take notes. I do believe that um, a, a short pencil goes way longer than a long memory, all right? So you definitely want to take notes. I, I think I know a thing or two you might, you know, I'm just gonna say this, in the month of July, I believe we had nine brand new Platinum 2000s, all right? Just in the month of July alone within our organization. We're having a lot of momentum right now, a lot of success stories, right? We broke a Platinum 5000. We have two other people very close to cracking Chairman 10, all right? We have a lot of momentum going on right now. So many people loading up the P5000. And it's some things that, you know, I've learned over my three year journey in this business, things that I've tried and that didn't work, and a lot of things that I tried and it's not working. So I want to tell you one thing that we did um, right around February, we made a decision, a conscious decision to go elite, all right? I want you to write that down on your paper. You want to go elite, all right? Go elite. Go elite. What do I mean by that? Guys, it's not... 12 people to go platinum 600 no more. All right, you, you can do that, you can go that route, but you have an option where it requires less individuals, right? There's no 30 to platinum 1000. It's no more 500 to chairman 10. Ladies and gentlemen, they've changed it where now the company will actually reward you and your team for volume, right? Volume based ranks. So understanding that the elite package, the one that's $325, that is more volume. It's more valuable, so you get more volume if you decide to purchase that package or any of your customers decide to purchase that package, all right? So understand this. With the elite package, 195 in volume, that's 45 more points from a starter package. All right, whether that's the Forex starter, whether that's the HFX starter, or whether that's the cryptocurrency starter. You want somebody to be equipped with all three. It doesn't matter if you're doing Forex. It doesn't matter if you're doing HFX. It doesn't matter. You want to have either one of them or both of them. I prefer you to have both of them. But no matter what, and write this down in your notes, no matter what, all right, I want you to say it just like that, like how I said it. No, no matter what. what, you want to have access to that digital currency package. You want to have access to the crypto. See, somebody's hopping off the call right now, and your kids, kids, kids are going to be kicking themselves in the butt because you hopped off the call right at this moment. Because what I'm about to tell you is going to not only set you up for success with their IM, but it can potentially create generational wealth that's long-lasting for you and your bloodline, 
all right? You and the people that you love and care about, right? So understand that digital assets, cryptocurrency, you need the education for that. You have to have the education for that, all right? How many people invested into XRP Ripple when it was hovering at 17 cents? If you bought XRP Ripple, if you actually purchased, not, not traded against the US dollar, I'm actually talking about Coinbase, Crypto.com, Exodus, you have a digital portfolio wallet and you purchased the digital asset Ripple, XRP, right? When it was at at least 17 cents or lower, just drop a me in the chat box. See, you wanna have access to that education because guess what? Two months later, XRP Ripple is now worth 29 cents as of right now. I just checked before I got on the phone. I didn't even know it was 29 cents. <laughs> XRP to the moon, all right? So understand this and overstand this. It, I, I, yeah, I'm training HFX, y'all. That's, that's what I like. I, I like HFX, right? But I still trade Forex. I more so trade Ripple, all right? I do trade Ripple on MetaTrader 4, all right? I'm in four buys right now. I've been holding them for quite some time, waiting on this moment. Right now, I wish I could share my phone screen. I can't share my phone screen. I'm going to show you guys. But understand this, all right? We're almost at 30 cents. It's getting colossal. I don't want to get too deep on that. You want to definitely tune in to our Wednesday crypto call, which is open for everybody. Every Wednesday at 11 p.m. Eastern, myself, along with some of my leaders, we're the crypto nerds. We actually do a crypto training every Wednesday, but you also want access to that digital asset, that digital currency academy, all right? That digital currency academy, very, very important. So you might as well get the elite because you need two of them no matter what. Whether you Forex or HFX, you need one or the other and you need digital currency. You can't just say, I want Forex, it's just a, how are you gonna miss out on crypto? That's an oxymoron. How are you gonna miss out on crypto? All right? So you need to not only have the elite package because you never wanna tell somebody to do something that you're not doing. What I look like getting on this call preaching about digital currency, Forex, and I ain't even got access to Swipecoin myself. I gotta log in, and when I log in, you see somebody else's name up there, because it's not really my login. I'm using somebody else's name. <laughs> no, that's not gonna duplicate your business. The laws of success don't work like that. The spiritual laws don't work like that. And you th may think that doesn't count. That actually counts a lot, all right? It actually counts a lot. So you definitely want to have the elite package, but this is the main reason. I actually want to share my phone screen, right? I want to share my phone screen because you need to see that thing, all right? You need to be able to see this right here. So if somebody could come up and just drop in the chat box, just drop a 777 if you can see my screen okay. All right, just drop a 777. Let me see if I can make it bigger. All right. Excuse the Espanol, but this is going to teach you about the dinero, my friend. All right. This is going to show you how the breakdown, how you actually get paid if you had a team of elites only. Go elite. Hashtag elites only, all right? It's no longer 444 for Platinum 600, it's 333. It's no longer 1226 for Platinum 1000, it's 994. Platinum 2000, 56 total customers? That's almost 20, that's 19 less than what it is with the starter pack. You can just stop at Platinum 2000 and see the obvious reason of why you want to go elite. Not even including the value you're, go you're going to get. Not even including the volume you're going to get. Not even including 
the value your people are going to get because you put them on the lead. You stop thinking like, oh man, people can't afford 200 and, 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 and they can only afford 235. They can't afford 325. If you think that, guess what? You're right. If you think that, guess what? Guess what you're going to attract? <laughs> Same thing if you're the woman who think guys are all dogs, guess what you're going to keep attracting? <laughs> you might as well go get a, a, a dog collar and a leash. <laughs> all right? If, if, you, if you're thinking, man, money's the root of all evil, or you're thinking, oh, can't nobody go from poor to rich, you're thinking, oh, it's a limit on how much money is out there. Guess what? You're going to be right. But if you think of abundance, if you think of unlimited wealth, unlimited prosperity, you think from a place of infinity. Guys, ladies, I'm telling you, ever since February, 85 to 90 percent of people that joins my organization is coming in with elite packages and they're withdrawing in their first week some people need to sit down and learn forex and need to go through you know the forex academy and trade with pullbacks and pips and stuff all right everybody's not emo emotions not in order for hfx but it's some people that need to move fast right some people gotta some people on the move right so you definitely want to give people options and give them the best value for their dollar. And that's doing that by going elite. All right. So I hope you guys got um, a screenshot of that or whatever the case may be. You definitely need that. And, <clears throat> and what I want to squeeze in here for these last 14 minutes, right? Only got 14 minutes left. But I wanted to squeeze in a little treat for you guys because I truly feel like this will help some of the leaders that's on the call. Like I said, I want to talk that chairman talk. So I know a lot of leaders are people who are developing as leaders. We can all be better at closing deals, right? People always come to me like, bro, you sign up so many people. You have over 400 personal signups since you've been in the business. How are you doing that? Like, what are you saying to get people to actually see value in what it is that we're doing? and getting them to actually make that payment over the phone, right? And I would say this, I do have a method to the madness, which I'm actually break down for you guys if you want it, right? If you guys want to get that method to the madness, how to close in 20 steps, all right? Millionaire McCoy style. If you want that for me, just drop a, a 999 in the chat. If you don't, if you're not trying to hear all that, it's all good. I promise you I won't be offended. It's going to save me some options, all right? But I see the people want to see it. Okay, I, okay, okay. Y'all about to break the chat. <laughs> I got y'all. I got y'all. All right, cool. So what I will say is this. The real deal secret, the, the sauce, right, the, the it factor about closing is really just confidence and posture. Confidence and posture. You don't ever want to come off like you need somebody to sign up. You don't ever want to come off like you're desperate for that person to get started in your business. People don't want to join somebody that's desperate. People want to join somebody that's going somewhere. You got to leave the impression of increase upon everybody that you meet. All right? You can go to the audio, Think and Grow Rich, to learn more about the oppression of increase. All right? Very, very important topic that has played a huge part and a lot of my recent, even distance success, right? But I want to talk about how to close in 20 steps. I'm actually bringing up some slides, and I'm going to be very, very quick. Um, so you might want to, like, kind of take pictures or something as I go, because I'm going to be very fast. I'm going to fly through this, all right? So, boom. Now... I'm talking from the standpoint of you're, you're the leader, right? I'm the leader, all right? You're the leader, right? And we're closing three-way calls for other people. Or you can even take a lot of this in, how you close your own deal so you don't have to keep going to people for three ways. Because eventually, you got to get to the point where you can close a deal yourself without doing the three-way every single time, right? And that's really once you get to that platinum 2000 and higher everything. 
uh, level. P1000s and lower, you want to utilize the, uh, the three-way call as much as possible, all right? So for the leader who is doing three-way calls, or the leader soon to be doing three-way calls, or maybe you're that person like, man, if I knew what to say, if I knew what to do, I would tell my people that they can get people on the opportunity calls, and then they can do a three-way with me, and I can confidently close the deal and be able to answer questions, right? So this is my process of being able to close a deal. Um, you're definitely going to get the recording of this, so I'm going to go through this, but you're more than welcome to screenshot and take it, you know, whatever, right? I want you guys to get the sauce. So the first thing, when I first get on the phone, and then, you know, my business partner, my P150, my P600, maybe a new customer looking to get their two and three, right? They're going to get somebody on the phone with me. They're going to edify that person to me and then me to that person, and then I'm going to take over the call. Once I take over the call, the first thing that I do, I ask how that person is feeling. And I'm asking this question with a lot of energy, high energy, noticeable energy, to the point where they're like, oh, man, they, they, they want to match my energy, or they sometimes even laugh. Because people are not used to interacting with individuals with a lot of high positive energy. That's why a lot of people don't make serious money, right? So you want to definitely get on the line and establish the energy where they have to match your energy. Life is energy. Energy is life, all right? So you definitely want to make sure that you're transferring that energy, all right? You, you give them that positive, high energy, they're going to try to match it, all right? Next thing, you want to now ask where they're from. I want to know what city are you located in, right? I want to know what market you are in. I got a big old map, right, right in my office where I can see all the different cities, see how close they are to each other, right? And I want to know where this person is located so I can let them know off top, hey, we actually have a team out there that can support you in person. Even if you don't know if we actually have a team in that city, you can tell them most of the time, right, especially if it's a major city, yes, we actually got a team out there. That's awesome. Right, because nine out of 10 times we actually do. But you wanna know what market they're in. Then you want to ask them. Now, understand that I'm asking the questions. I'm patrolling the conversation through questions, but I'm doing less talking. I'm controlling the conversations by asking questions, but I'm letting this person tell me all about them. I shouldn't have to talk about myself because when I got edified in the beginning of the three-way, that should have already been done. All right. Somebody else should have already, you know, said all the great things about myself. So I want this person to talk about themselves. All right. So I'm asking them, hey, so what do you do in Minnesota? What do you do in Chicago? What do you do in San Diego? What do you do in Atlanta? What do you do in Charlotte? Right. Are you a student? Uh, you work a job. Are you in the military, maybe? Or maybe an entrepreneur. Right. Those are usually the four topics that a person will fall under. They either work a job, they're a student at some type of school, they're in the military or former military, or they're a business owner, they're an entrepreneur, they're self-employed, right? So it's usually one of those four quadrants that somebody fall in. I ask that and I say all four to them, all right? Do you work a job? Do you go to school? Are you in the military? Or are you maybe an entrepreneur? All right, work a job, school, military, or entrepreneur. They tell you if they have time and income coming in without you even having to ask that, right? Because if somebody tell me they're a student and that's all they do, then in my head, I'm thinking it's a possibility this person may not have no money coming in. They don't work or anything, but sometimes, you know, people don't work a job and still have money, right? But it'll give you an idea, right? I know if this person has two jobs, they probably don't have a whole lot of time, right? I don't have to ask them, hey, do you have time? Do you have money, right? They're pretty much gonna let me know when I ask them, what do they do for a living? Now, you wanna say, hey, look, I'm, I'm sure you keep your options open when it comes to making additional streams of income, right? You wanna ask this question, right? This is the question that's flat out saying, okay, you told me a little bit about yourself. I know what you do, but hey, do you keep your options open when it comes to making additional streams of income, multiple streams of income? They say yes. Then you want to say yes. Perfect. Were you able to see and hear everything okay on the Zoom call? 
were you able to see what we do as far as with trading, right? If they have not seen the information or they say, hey, you know, my phone blacked out. I wasn't able to get everything on the Zoom call clearly. I do not proceed with the three-way. They shouldn't even be on a three-way with me. Let me say that one more time. If the prospect has not seen the information clearly, all right, they shouldn't even be on a three-way with me. If they didn't see the play, it's not my job to get on the phone and talk about what it and what is talked about on Zoom. It's not my job to get on the phone and talk about what is talked about through a video or a home presentation, right? That, that that's what that does. I'm supposed to get on the phone, validate the information, ask questions, and close the deal, right? Or find out the day that they can get started. That's it. All right. So if they say yes, I seen the information, then I keep going. If they say no, then I close it and get them in front of the information. All right, so once they say, yes, I did see the information. I just got off the Zoom call. I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, awesome. I remember when I first heard about Forex trading, and I was so excited also. And now you want to kind of give a quick little story about how it was like when you first got started, right? I see, I, I, I did go to college, right? I did go to Morehouse, and I was a business and psychology major. I, I learned a few things in psychology, right? So... <laughs> If you start talking about how excited you are or were when you first got introduced by you just suggesting that you were excited and about what parts you were excited about, now this person starts to think in their head, wow, I, I think, I guess I'm supposed to be excited too about what I just seen. I guess I'm supposed to have a favorite part too about what I just seen, which is very, very important, all right? So you kind of put in a quick 10 second, 15 second story about how you were basically so excited and eager to get started when you first seen the information and then round that off to the next question, which is, let me ask you, Jonathan, right? You wanna always remember the prospect name because when you say their name, it makes them more comfortable, it makes them feel like they're more familiar with you, it makes them feel like you actually care, all right? You, you remember my name, I feel like you care about this as a genuine conversation, especially if you're saying my name several times throughout the conversation, that's a little nugget for you. Most people ain't going to write that one down or do it, but most people, everybody don't go chairman, I guess. All right. But what part stuck out to you more than everything else? So what really grabbed your attention the most, right? What part stuck out to you the most or grabbed your attention more than everything else? All right. So this not only impresses the prospect that you remember their name, but it also subconsciously programs someone to give you positive energy towards their favorite part of the opportunity. The next thing you wanna do is simply just agree with them. All right, now you want to agree with how this was also one of your favorite parts too when you first got started, right? You wanna validate the, whatever they said their first part was, validate that it's okay for that to be their favorite part. All right, so you wanna validate that that was your favorite part too so you can relate to the way that they're viewing the opportunity and validate that whatever part they say was their favorite, this particular, you know, that particular part was important. Now, you may be thinking like, man, what if that wasn't my favorite part? I don't know. Everything about this is my favorite part. <laughs> the two and three, you know, the, the nine people, $600 a month, the growing money from your smartphone, the growing money from cryptos, the support, the resistance, the breakouts, the pullbacks, the retests. All right, the, 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 the way they match you when you fund your account with, for HFX with certain brokers, that, that's definitely one of my recent favorite parts. It's so many things about the, the mentorship, so many different aspects about this. No matter what a person says, this was my favorite part too. I'm not lying. All right, so you got to really get to that space where you know you're confidently agreeing with them because everything about this is also one of your favorite parts, all right? Now, number eight, this is a closing line. You got to say this with confidence, all right? You got to say this with confidence. You want to say, well, let me ask you a question. Do you have any questions for me? Or is there anything you feel like you need to know before you get started? Or, all right, or do you think it will be questions you will have as you're getting started? Let me, let me. Let me say that one more time, boys and girls, because I feel like that might have went over your head. Look, if you have 
you want to say, let me ask you a question. Do you have any questions for me? Or is there anything else you feel like you need to know before you get started? Or do you think it'll be more so questions and things you'll want to know as you're getting started? What does that do? One, that infers to them, they're literally telling you, I'm getting started. Because they're going to either ask questions or they're going to say they don't have no questions. There'll be questions as they're getting started. Two, when they say they don't have no questions, that's skip the whole question part and get right to getting started. Do you want to be on the phone longer for the three-way or do you want to hurry up, wrap up the deal so you can get them going through the fast start as quickly as possible, right? Of course, the latter, right? You want to get them started as quickly as possible. So with you saying it like that, hey, listen, do you have any questions for me or is there anything you feel like you need to know before you get started? Or do you think it'll be more so questions you'll have as you're getting started? Guess what people say 90% of the time? Uh, it'll be some questions I'll have as I'm getting started. It'll be some questions as, you, as you're doing what? Getting started. Now I know they're ready to get started without me asking, do you want to get started? I told you I, I was a psychology major, all right? So next, next number nine, you say, you want to say, well, let me ask you, you know, um, an obvious question, right? You got smartphone, Wi-Fi. They're going to say yes to that, right? You want to now just start asking a bunch of questions that's going to get the word yes thrown at you, all right? That's, that's what the object of these questions is. These, these are the yes questions, all right? Let me ask you a question. You got smartphone and Wi-Fi, right? Yes, I do. Perfect. What about like a laptop, a tablet, a desktop, anything like that? They say, yes, I do. Now, if they say, no, I don't, right? Because I just came across somebody today who didn't have nothing but a phone. You can let them know and reassure them that, you know, you can do everything from a phone. But you do want to get a laptop in the future, right? But you can let them know that it's not a biggie. But they more than likely will say, yes, most people got a laptop or a tablet or something. All right? Then you just want to easily just slide in there real quick, all right? Just so nonchalantly. It's so, it's it, it so obvious, right? You want to ask, you got at least $300 on the debit card, right? You got at least $300 on the card, right? They're going to say, yes, I do. Most people, right? Some people say, no, not right now. But like I said, 85, 90% of the time, people say, yes, I do have $300 on the card. You want to say or ask this question in a tonality where it sounds like yes should be the obvious answer. All right, like you got $300 on the debit card, right? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do, all right, I do. So now they just said yes three times in a row. You don't want to end it with you asking about the money, so you also want to ask them, you know, and I said just like this, word for word, bar for bar, all right? This is the last and most important question. Do you consider yourself to be coachable or trainable? Like you don't have a problem with somebody mentoring you and guiding you every step of the way, right? Of course, most people are gonna say, no, I don't have a problem with that. Yes, I'm, I'm fine with all of that. You just want them to basically say yes again, so they're not really thinking or, or allow, or you know, spending a lot of time thinking about, damn, I just committed to paying $300. You wanna just, that's just, just skip past that part, but you wanna get the answer to that question. So now, before you just go ahead and put the clothes, I like to cast the vision. All right, I like to cast the vision because you want a person confident about the decision that they're about to make. Because you got to understand, they're about to see an application that says pay $325 now, and if you don't get your two and three, it's two seventy four dollars a month. You really want to cast the vision so they don't feel like they're just signing their life away, right? You want somebody to understand that, yeah, we're planning, we have a plan, we know what we're doing, and if you follow this to a T, you should have success. All right, so you want to say, okay, awesome. So you definitely have everything you need to get started. Basically, what's about to happen next, right? And that's when you want to tell them about your fast start, whatever you guys do, right? Um, you might have a certain fast start that include downloading apps, getting added to group chats, you know, signal chats. You might want to let them know what copying a signal is real quick so they can get the reassurance that they don't have to come in and wait until they know everything to start making money. The reason why so many people join IM Academy is because through trading and the fact that somebody who knows what they're doing can tell somebody who knows Nathaniel, all right, doesn't know nothing, all right, you can actually mimic the trades of the expert and come in and make profits 
within your first 24 to 72 hours. So you want to briefly and quickly let them know about that process, whether it's copying signals or hopping on live HFX calls and hitting a green or a red button. All right. So you want to let them know about that. And then, of course, remind them about plugging into the actual academy, because the whole purpose of this is for you to learn the skill for yourself. Does that sound good? Right. They say yes for the fifth time. And now this is the final closing question. All right. Are you ready to go ahead and get started with the membership now? It takes less than five minutes. They just said yes, 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 yes. What they're going to say for the sixth time, family, just put it in the chat box. What you think the answer to this question is going to be when you ask it? What do you think the answer to that question is going to be? Yes, I got a smartphone and Wi-Fi. Yes, I, I, I got a tablet and a laptop. Yes, I got $300 on the debit card. Yes, I consider myself to be coachable and trainable. Yes, the fast start and going through the academy, that all makes sense. Yes. Am I ready to get started right now? Yes. All right. So, boom, right after that, I like to walk people through the application. I'm not a fan of, hey, here's the application, pick the elite package, you know, and call me when you're done. I'm not a fan of doing that just because the applications do have issues and problems sometimes. So I want to walk them through it, um, letting them know that they're, you know, getting started with a leader, somebody who's going to be there for them every step of the way. So what I like to do to make sure that the person's getting started right now and they understand that they're paying right now, I like to ask a simple question. I call this equipping your customer. All right, how much time? Oh, oh five minutes over time. We got three more minutes left. All right. Equip your customer. Basically, I'm going to ask. So as far as paying for your membership, what's the first two numbers of the debit card you're going to use? Not the whole card number, but the first two numbers. All right. Did you hear what I said? I'm asking the customer, the potential customer that's about to get started. So as far as paying for the membership, what's the first two numbers of the debit card you're going to use? Not the whole number, just the first two numbers. See, I understand if the number starts with a four, it's a Visa. If the number starts with a five, it's a MasterCard, all right? Three or a six, that's American Express and Discovery, right? So you wanna make sure that this person has a Visa or a MasterCard, which most people do, but most importantly, that they got their debit card in their hand. That's the only reason I'm really asking that question. I don't need to know the first two numbers or anything. I just need you to go get your card in your hand because we're about to make the payment. Not now, but right now, all right? So boom, once I know they have the card in their hand, that's what I'm ask, actually asking the person who put us together on the three-way call to go ahead and send the link. All right, hey, uh, Isis, are you still on the line? You are? Perfect. Can you please go ahead and send the link to Jonathan? I'm gonna walk them through the application real quick. All right, step 17, walk them through the application, literally telling them what to do. All right, you gotta be a leader. You gotta guide them through this. They need you to let them know what to do in this situation. Nothing harsh or anything about it. You want to lead in this situation, all right? Go ahead and, now the application is different now, right? They just redid the application like literally less than a week ago. So now it's just the first page telling them to go right to the elite package and select the elite package. They don't have to add any add-ons. They don't have to do anything but select the elite package and go to continue. After that, you want to tell them, all right, go to, now don't, don't look at this on the screen because this is obsolete, right? This is different now. So the next step will actually be having them put in their basic information, right? The next page is basic information. Let them know, hey, when you get to continue, let me know when you're at continue. So you'll know exactly where they're at as they're doing the application. Now they get to continue, you tell them press continue and ask them, do they see where it says credit card information? They say yes. I say, go ahead, do that part real quick. And when you get to the boxes at the bottom, let me know when you're there and I'll tell you what to do at that point. See, I didn't say, hey, are you ready to put your credit card in? No, I'm assuming the close, of course. They've been done. They've been ready to get started like nine slides ago. Somebody say nine slides ago, all right? Like nine slides ago, they was ready to get started. I'm assuming the close. You got to have 
confidence and posture. Confidence and posture. See, I'm not asking, hey, are you ready to put your card? So you see where it says, pay using credit card? Now, credit card, debit card, in this sense, is the same thing, all right? Go ahead and do that part. And when you get to the boxes at the bottom, let me know when you're at those boxes. I'm going to let you know what to do from that point, all right? They enter their card information casually and knowingly. When I say knowingly, that means you need to make sure that they know it's, you know, a monthly fee and what two and free is. That's a great time to bring up two and free, all right? And they actually know what they're doing, all right? And then boom. Now they get to the boxes, you tell them click the boxes, press join now. It will either be a message in red letters that come up or a message in blue letters that come up next. So go ahead and check those boxes and let me know what the color of that message that comes up next is. They say red, obviously they may need to fix something on the application, rechange their username, put in their information correctly. It's some type of flaw that they messed up with with the application. Now if it says that send an ID to trust and safety, you wanna make sure that they're not using Wells Fargo because whenever you get that trust and safety message, that means it's not gonna go through no matter what. It's no, it is no point of sending an ID to the company. That never works. When they say send a picture of your ID, that means they gotta use another debit card no matter what. Or you may have to collect a cash app or a Zelle or an Apple Pay so you can put through a Bitcoin payment, right? Hope you guys are using coin payments, all right? But Chase, Bank of America, Navy Federal, U.S. Bank, all the other banks outside of Wells Fargo does work. Sometimes you still get a message that says, please contact your car provider or try a new car. That's different from send a picture of your ID to trust and safety. When you get that try a new card or contact your bank, that means you literally got to contact the bank. All right. The processing center is in London. So sometimes with some people card, it comes up as fraud because they're like, yo, you don't shop in London. What you going to get in charge from over there? All right. So you let that person know, hey, look, did you get a message from your bank? Right. Bank of America actually sends you a text message saying, you know, did you do this transaction? Press yes or type no. Let them know to do yes. Or maybe they might have got an email saying that same thing. Respond that they are, it's them, it's not fraud. And then wait like 30 seconds, put it through again, it'll go through. Or they may have to actually call the bank and get on the phone with the bank. All right, they may have to call the bank and put it through while they're on the phone with the bank. But most of the time what's gonna happen, they're gonna click that join now and it's gonna come up and say, you know, two hours before you can access everything, join success. And ladies and gentlemen, congratulate yourself because you just brought a new person into your I am Mastery Academy business. All right, so with that being said, that is my time. Um, I hope you guys all got some value from this. I definitely, definitely see each and every single one of you guys at the beaches and the banks. If you got Instagram, you can definitely follow me on the ground at Millionaire McCoy, all right? It's spelled like Millionaire McCoy, all right? M-C-C-O-Y. Definitely just let me know, hey, you know, I was on ISIS call and I know who you are. I follow you guys back and stay connected with each and every single one of you guys. Shout out my boy Marquise Warner on the call. That's my brother. One of the people that started this to stay with me. Definitely shout out you, ISIS Love. You already know I had to throw on my love t-shirt today because it's all love. And if any one of you guys need anything from me, I'm only one call away. So definitely reach out. Let's work. Let's go. Everybody goes chairman, all right? Everybody goes chairman. 2020 vibes. It's lit. It's definitely a movie. See you guys at the bank and the beach. You're muted. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God. Turn up, yeah. Hey. Yo, let's talk about setting the standards, y'all. From this day out, everybody should upgrade to Elite. You guys, I upgraded like four days ago to the Elite package because 
why wouldn't you why wouldn't you want to be the best version of yourself right why wouldn't you want to set the standards high set the bar for yourself you don't deserve cheap right you do not deserve cheap cheap has you in a position where you are now baby so it's elite to the moon go ahead it's really simple go to the i am dot um academy website go to your package hit modify and what's going to happen is when the next billing cycle comes you're going to, it's going to take out the new payment and you will officially be elite i know g12 that's going to be the standards for us from here on out we're only doing elite make sure you guys get that crypto like you said every wednesday at 11 eastern they're talking about crypto get on that binary options let's get this money if you guys enjoyed this call I just want to feel your energy. Just come off mute and just give me a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, you guys. Well, that's been my time. So we're going to go ahead and end it. I hope you guys got lots and lots of value. Tomorrow, there's actually a super Sunday that some of the leaders are doing in the organization. If you guys don't have the flyer, I'll drop it in a couple of groups. Make sure you get all your teams on that call, you guys, so we all can be on that stage. What's that, Amazon? Peace, love, and prosperity. Peace, peace, peace. Peace. Peace, everybody. Peace. Hey, follow African bandanas. Okay, okay.